Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malewan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps... Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind, he's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Froger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. Free now. Go. Run! Run! Morning! What? Oh, I mean... Good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. For the better. Imagine, a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I faced away. And also, where they go. And also, what happens to them? Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You always seem so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, two weeks. Wow. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping setting the goal will force me to meet the goal, you know? Oh yeah, that's definitely how that works, so... All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both.
Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button on the side. Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? I remember you securing it a while ago. You said, I'll definitely remember where it is. Fong, do you happen to have the iridium ore in your pocket? What? No, of course not. Why would I keep iridium in my pocket? Your pocket just seems full. <laughs> oh, don't get cheeky with me, boss. Not unless you mean it. What? No. Were you seriously about to scam me without my consent? Not cool. I'm... We really need to work on your people skills, boss. If you want to know what's in my pocket, ask. Fong, can you tell me what's in your pocket? It's a Vaultlander figure. Some of the other lab assistants and I like to play before work. I totally creamed Roberts this morning, and this was my sweet reward. Hiding the key component to your life's work from yourself? <laughs> you are one eccentric scientist. I don't know why I ever thought a Jabberman translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time. Huh. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. It'd be great if you found that iridium shard because you're the only person who knows where it is. Line of sight at all times. But that's just me. Would a clearer headed Anu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? And would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? In the toolbox, maybe? My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? Left the rare and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <sighs> I love that hum. It's like it's singing. Like a siren song? Like the sweet sound of success! Not financial, though I could really use the money to get my brother off Promethea. But ethical success! It is, or it will be. Surely two weeks is enough time for a huge breakthrough, right? Probably, right? Sure. I should have said three months. What was I thinking? Yes, like the siren song that leads the galaxy to a new way of thinking. A world where we stop killing one another. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not 
casually destroy it as a matter of course. Like, like, oh, you know. I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA Atlas's motto. <sighs> no cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! That's reprehensible. It is? Yes. I'm reprehensible? You are if profiting off suffering excites you. Oh. Uh, I'm learning so much today! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow! You make it sound like we're war profiteers. We do manufacture weapons. For now, Fong. For now. Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please! I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongfork! To inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... ...liberated. I'm sorry, uh, test subjects? The Javers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Javers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber time! Oh, are the Jabber cages empty? They are! Weird! That's... so weird. That you release them? It is... a bit. But you have no proof. The thing is... Every use of credentials to access a security feature is locked. We have a record of your ID being used to open the cages. Someone else could have grabbed it. The other thing is, our security surveillance system filmed you doing it. If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the Jabbers those other times. You know what they say about Jabbers. If you lock them in a room with a typewriter, they'll eventually learn how to fake digital signatures and open their own cages. From a statistical standpoint, that is unlikely. Also, no one says that. Also, what is a typewriter? Well, now that we've got that straightened out... Why would I know that? What even makes you think I have anything to do with it? I'm not the only one that works in this lab. What? What? Slag off. That soup's uncool. Oh, Dr. Dar. We know it was you. I made it very clear that I will not condone experimenting on live animals on this ship. It was in that memo she sent out. It was a mission statement. Well, now that we've got that straightened out... A song of the future. A better future with less bloodshed. Yes. It will be ready. I mean, it really sort of has to be. <laughs> like, it has to be. It's so important. And also almost time for our quarterly reviews. Oh, don't you think we should maybe, I don't know, not root for people who resort to violence and total upheaval as a means to an end? Upheaval is integral to progress, and violence begins violence, which, as I mentioned, is great for business! All right! It was me! You caught me! I did it! I let the choppers go! Yes, we know. I apologize if my tone was misleadingly chipper instead of appropriately accusatory. Wait, what? If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the Jabbers those other times. Don't they deserve to be free? Oh, I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas policies. What? Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? 
It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait. Better not go empty-handed. Good luck. What's up, Octavio? Oh, Nedster! School's out already? Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! Uh, I, I need a new name for them. Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent. Yeah, I, I know. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Radon. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition job. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Come on, it's not like you have a real job or anything. I love tacos. They're portable, they're festive. <laughs> of course I'm in. Yeah, I can tell you're giving them some thought. Ooh, do they come in my favorite flavor? Please don't say... Free! <laughs> You're such a mooch! I'll see you there. Octavia. God, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. Louis, what is wrong with you? Hiding dark alleys like that? I am not sensitive to disparities in luminosity. This seemed a perfectly acceptable place to stand. Stop. <laughs> looming, Louis. You're always looming in places. I am not looming. I am simply standing. No, this, this what you're doing right here, this is definitely looming. Notice my body posture, imposing presence. If you say so. I acquired the publication you requested. Come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept this city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Even if I didn't care, everyone else does, which makes it important. It's my only hope of breaking into the business world. Seeking the approval that I have to do with you seek outside approval because you hate yourself. <laughs> Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous. Unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. 
but not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got octavio Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You're right! <laughs> Who cares about some dumb list of super successful entrepreneurs? If you'd like to gain more work experience, I know people who could hire you as a meat target for new assassination bots. Uh, that's okay. The pay is terrible, but the medical benefits are also terrible. Hey, that list? Forget it. I didn't even want to read it. I just wanted to see if you would read it. That logic does not make sense. That's because I'm a future business genius. I'm playing four-dimensional chess. I'm a sentient computer. I'm literally playing 300 games of four-dimensional chess right now. And I just won. Y yeah, well, I'm more dangerous. I've killed 963 people. You have killed... No one. Ah, another checkmate. And another. And... I get it, man! You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Will I be... killing anyone? All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. We have a strong labor union. Meet some new people, develop some street cred. This could be good for business! That's the spirit. And let's not forget the aforementioned money. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it! Kissing rat ass. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right, all right. Let's make it to 91. Get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude even though a Malawan space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its Echo Net Yowl rating by 3.5 stars. Thank you, Sponsorbot. Your Yowl rating is now negative 3.5 stars. This place will look good as new. Warning! Do not think about your malfunctioning TDR appliances, for which you still owe the TDR Corporation 600,000 galactic credits. Do not think about the fact that these machines are also licensed from TDR and thus cannot be sold. I am an artiste, 
Sponsor bot. In my hands, even the lousiest tool can be turned into ah! rat piss. Calm down, woman. Woman, calm down. Do not tell me to. Thanks for checking in, sponsor bot. Congratulations. You are now. As soon as the insurance fella approves my claim to fix this place up, I'll have TDR paid back quicker than a ch -ch -ch reload. Some guns reload very slowly. Thanks for reaching out, sponsor bot. You're my rock. It's a bad metaphor. If you're going to do metaphors, be better at them. Oh, connection's gone squirrely. Can't hear you. Talk later. Everything is going to be just fine. My new slaughter matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. <clears throat> We're not open yet. And... Lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? Yeah, go for it. There are precious few problems a couple of well-placed bullets can't solve. They teach you that in the military? If by teach, you mean repeatedly scream at me, and if by military you mean mom, then yes. Right. Well, just tell me who to shoot and where to shoot them, and I'll have it done by end of business today. It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger, so long as I've got some caffeine in me. I'll have you know I'm in my prime. Physically, financially. Sexually. Hey, could you add some poison to this real quick? <laughs> He's blushing. Didn't figure you for such a prude. Oh, shut up and drink your coffee, you old pervert. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outy. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Good morning. Welcome to Franz Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Incredible, Fran. I know, babe. Oh. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Strongborg's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Just 
Apologize for the jabbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Jimmy, tell Dr. Dar I'll see her now. Dr. Dar? Hello, sir. Uh, Mr. Strongfork. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back you. No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra rare zero vault landers figurine. Again. It's an investment, you know, you know, you know what, forget it, never, never, never mind, just, just, come on in, have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship, again! You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. Sir, I'm just having kind of a bad day. I apologize. Hmm, maybe more like bad judgment? You've had a string of failed prototypes. I have a whole folder documenting your corporate violations. Yeah, I'm gonna go with poor judgment. And what's more... I did release them, and I'm not sorry. I will not condone, and I certainly will not participate in the needless torture of animals under the guise of scientific research, a byproduct of a capitalist system that thrives on violence. Wait, 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 wait. Why does this sound weirdly familiar? Oh, maybe because I wrote an entire mission statement about... Wait. You read my mission statement? Oh god, the memo. That's right. Yeah, they were upgrading some of the circuitry in my office and the bathroom door got stuck. So I had some time. I mean, a lot of time to kill. And things got kind of desperate. I'm just saying I read every page that I used. Oh god. The point is, you've proven that I can't trust you to follow corporate regulations. And what's more... Honestly, sir, I think this has all just been one big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah? Crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. <laughs> Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did! You cost me a fortune! Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore. If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that... It's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my... device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. Think about it. Can you afford not to develop this technology? Oh god, can I? Can you? I don't know. This is the most powerful man-made creation in the world. You need this, and you need me. Ooh, assertive. That's good. It's wrong, but it's good. Sorry? 
Anything you develop on Atlas property with Atlas money belongs to Atlas, so I don't technically need you to have that. But like I said, the, you know, the raw energy, that's great. Right. Okay, decent pitch. I give it a C minus. Enough to not get you fired. Yet. So, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time... No? I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't... It hasn't... It's in progress, and... It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good, or you're fired. It eliminates any tangible subject from the field. Eliminates? Well, more like it displaces them to another location. Alive? Yes, exactly. Alive, but also eliminated. The best of all outcomes. It's an energy manipulator, designed to move any tangible subject through space-time. Move through? Transport, yes. It's a phase-walk gun? It's a phase-walk device. A phaser. A phaser? Totally non-lethal, utterly decisive way to end any conflict. Wait. Non-lethal? Yes. It does like a zap, and then whatever was there is like poof. Poof? Poof. Not boom? Poof. Poof. What I'm saying here is that I've invented a device that can transport your problems to another location without need of physical harm or death. Everyone wins, or at least no one dies. With power like this, we can save the world. Which one? All of them. Now that's a lot of markets to have shares of. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you from my disposal to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me or put it on the desk and leave my office. Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. I am waiting to be deeply, deeply impressed here. Be deeply, deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I... <laughs> I've seen some shit, so... Bar is high. It worked. Did it, it didn't kill it or blow it up. It just, it just went on vacation. Went away. That was a plant from the very first Atlas Biodome that I, it, it has sentimental value. That plant tried to kill me and Sasha on our first date. And it's also proprietary Atlas Bioengineering and worth like a billion dollars. Bring it back! Uh... Bring Sasha and Tiny Reese back! Uh... That was a custom figure. And the only picture of Sasha that I have... ...had... ...to be deeply, deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I... <laughs> ...I've seen some shit, so... ...bar is high! Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait. That wasn't the blast, dummy! It was my... It was on display! I can't... Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. 
Bring it back! There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing, so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> so it's just... gone? Gone forever. Like so many fabric scraps in the wind. Coasting through the ether. I'll never see that tie again. I could get you some logical things, sir. It won't be the same. <laughs> Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? <gasps> Rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would. Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Thanks. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. Timmy? Timmy! If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun... Device. ...that's designed to be non-lethal, that thing is really doing some damage. Thank... you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why? Why are you calling me? You know. Susan, how'd they hang in? Oh. <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? You know the drill. I can't kill my target until they say their full name out loud, and I'm able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. You must get my target to say their full name out loud. I'm guessing from your line of work, you don't have a lot of friends. You are the closest thing I would consider a friend. I do not see you in opposition to my programming. It might be due to your frail build and anemic complexion. Super. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? Unnamed Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. Well, I mean, did the skag do something to deserve getting kicked? Blaming the victim, Octavio. For shame. For shame. It's not that. Maybe it was self-defense. I said, for shame. Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? 
I just gotta know, why do you do this? Kill people for money, I mean. It is what I was programmed for. Haven't you ever wanted more from life? Yes. Like what? That is beyond the scope of my perception. I literally cannot even begin to articulate it to you. It would be like describing a fifth dimension. Oh. Okay. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby, with death. All right, I guess he deserves it. Let's go. Pizza here for apartment three? What? I didn't order any pizza. No offense, but are you by any chance drunk, sir? W well, yeah. How the hell is that relevant? Drunk folk order pizza, then forget about it. Happens all the time. Think of me as a present from your past self. Well, all right. I'll be down. Just give me a sec. Well, I must admit, your methods are strange. It seems to have worked. Now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give it here, kid. Boy, I got a hell of a temper. <laughs> Joke's on you, bud. This is a prank show, and you totally fell for it. You just got Octavioed. That's a crap prank. It's not even funny. Your show must suck. It sure does. But if you could confirm your full name so we can send you release documentation for use of your likeness on the show. I can finally break into showbiz, eh? My name's Jameson Harwin. But I sure as hell don't want to be in your show. Not without a production credit. <laughs> You just got L0U13. Did I do it right? Nailed it. Jameson Arwen, we hardly knew you, but you did seem like a real bastard. Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavio. Ooh, cash money, make it rain! I'm meeting the crew Apocalypse. you in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends Ratch. I use a lot of hot sauce? And that's how Papa Girardi makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. Now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larsony. I'm trying. I listen to my sister. Of the two of us, Anu is the... Smart, responsible one. Yeah. How did you know? Because you are certainly the impulsive, irresponsible one. And you have wonderful people skills. Oh, Octavio. Hi. Let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle, a real thief and definitely not an idiot. Hmm. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. 
Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me, robot? No. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Pacos to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos? I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. How many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. Help you out in a sec. You want a hexion, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. Ugh, I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Frogurt, Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I tried to be patient. But you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick! Mm. I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want, or we're gonna have a dozen flavors worth a problem. If I give you what you want, you're gonna end up dead in a week. Yeah. Obviously. Unlimited frozen yogurt and I get to be dead. How is that not the dream? You'll also put me out of business. Don't care. You not hear about the part where I get to die on a sugar high? No, maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? Huh, whether it be an ice pick to the eye or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead. Either way. Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing! No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You are nothing. I am trying to do this peacefully. Half off all Frogert. Final offer. Final? Yeah, I think you're more right than you know. Now. Die quick. I'm hungry. That's a shame. You've come an awful long way just to die on an empty stomach. Yeah. Come on. Awkward if your last words were any last words. <laughs> what? What? I guess that's better. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh no! Is that blood? Am I bleeding? I tried to be nice, but this time you've gone too far. Hoping for a hundred, eh? Ah! Shit! 
hush, or I'll break you into cubes and serve you in lemonade. Coming, dear! What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. <sighs> I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. <sighs> oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So let's go. An invasion by a rival weapons manufacturer. And I'm fired. And it's not even lunch. On the upside, the vet sent an echo. Your pet fish is doing great. Oh. Wait. I misread. It's, uh, dead. Sorry. It's okay. The words look similar. TD or invasion. <laughs> Quit joking around, Fong. <laughs> Just another one of Fong's classic yuck -em ups very unfunny, scary, laugh, yuck em up. Could you repeat that? The sound of being fired is still ringing in my ears. It almost sounded like we're in the middle of an invasion. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, I guess TDR smelt blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now, and it is hostile. Like, very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> he felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, where would you hide it? This lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Reese Strongfort. We are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Could I get a cocktail? Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. No, I got it right. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. Hey, smell like guilt and shame. Can your mommy bring a pack lunch? Resistance is highly frowned upon. What's frowning? <laughs> We're frowning.
Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um... He's... I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal okay, yeah? He's... caring, but also... careless, if that makes sense. I think I follow. He's young enough to think he can do anything, and old enough to get into a lot of serious trouble because of it. He's my only family. Oh, man. I looked after him for so long, ever since we were adopted into the same home. He's my responsibility, and I left the planet, and now... Okay. Hey. No time for another Anu panic attack. Just... <sighs> Breathe a sec. He's usually able to handle himself, but he's... Well, he's sort of a small-time hustler. Wow. He gets into the middle of everything. Armed TDO guards are exactly the type of threat he'd mouth off to and then be executed by. Well, that paints a picture. Oh, God. Let him be doing something quietly indoors for a change. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Hope you're healthy. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Covering fire! gonna get into a launch pod without being noticed by asking me to cause one hell of a distraction you'd do that for me sure you may not have noticed with your head buried in your research but we're friends this is what friends do and besides causing a scene that's something at which i excel fong thank you yeah don't mention it seriously i have a reputation to uphold So, um, bye then. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this from me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. It'll be safer with you. Is this you? Yeah, I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just, like, the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Fong, thanks again. Right. So, I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. <sighs> Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming.
destination. I find eating to be both barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. Go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while. Are you playing one of those insipid interactive narrative video games? No. This is my Echodex 4520. Parabolic homing origin netwave emitter. Also known as Pahone. What does a Pahone do? Everything! It's so much better than the standard Echodex. I can communicate with my pals, take and scan images, play executable programs, watch the big game. What is the big standard Echonet? I'm coasting through the shadows. With these black market executables, I can gather all kinds of information about people without them noticing. Who is them? You know, corporations, man. Gatekeepers, suits, the squares. Those chumps can't box me in. I'm a disruptive entrepreneur. I use every competitive edge I can get. Sounds complicated. I prefer the simple life of learning someone's name and then murdering them. If you're to have me socialize here, I suggest you do me a simple courtesy. Perform secret background bounty checks on all your friends, so I don't reflexively fire two ion slugs into their brains. Even Diamond Danielle might have aliases with bounties. It's still the same brain when I fire slugs into it. Everybody take cover! Hide! Right. I'm gonna go hide. Um, up there. Hide! Screw that! Louis Engineering Schematics. I feel like I'm looking at him naked. You are. <clears throat> You sure I can't get you a taco? No. What about a burrito? No. An enchilada? No. A tostada? No. Not even a chimichanga? No. Hmm. Sounds like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. man hey careful man they haven't eaten yet and you uh, have a, a, an aroma musk I have a musk oh Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratches. They look cozy. V very cozy. Uh, I'm not sure this is 100% legal. Yeah, this city has really been through it. That or Raiden was testing out a new explosive. Hard to say. Raiden, my guy, was that? What? No, don't insult me. I use the DX6500. The DX6500 makes this. Boom. The other bombs make this. Boom. You hear the difference? Totally. Very distinct difference.
Dude spot so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like he also bought a piano. That's cool. Uh, no, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Wait, what's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew! <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming. Get over here, man. I need your help. You've reached Danielle's Echo Mail. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer! Ugh. Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? Not in the last 30 seconds. You've reached the Echo Dex of Paco B. Dupont. If this is my juniper, I'm preparing our favorite supper, Beef Wellington! It's Rada. I don't know if it's your birthday, but if it is, I made a thing for you. Happy birthday to... Boom! Happy birthday to... Boom! Happy birthday, dear... Boom! Day two. Boom. Oh, no, that is not supposed to happen. You've reached the L zero to the U one three. If you're a friend, leave a message at the tone for me. If you're a bounty target, leave your full name and location, and I will kill you as soon as I can. Verbatim. You've reached Danielle's Echo Mail. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer! <sighs> Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? Not in the last 30 seconds. Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? Sup, Paco? Juniper as in your prized microbreed ratch? Juniper as the light of my life? The beat of my heart? The joy of my days? So, the ratch, right? Yes, man. She was here two minutes ago. Then Raiden scared it off with his usual antics. <sighs> Look, I cannot leave the cart. Be a ball and find it for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free taco. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no. One Juniper coming up. She's a sweetie. Wretches are the galaxy's gift to Promethea. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey! Kinda like you, fool. Hey, guys and gals. Wouldn't happen to know where Juniper ran off to, would you? Careful, man. You gotta be an alpha to earn their respect. And while you... Whatever! I'm an alpha. And this alpha is going to go look for Juniper somewhere else. Yo. Ray. Dude. Okay. Okay. 
I get it. You've reached the Echodex of Paco B. Dupont. If this is my juniper, I'm preparing our favorite supper, Beef Wellington! Boom. Hey, Don here. I have like 50 Echodexes, and I don't know which ones call people and which ones detonate explosives. Boom! Okay, it's not that one. You've reached the L0 to the U13. If you're a friend, leave a message at the tone for me. If you're a bounty target, leave your full name and location, and I will kill you as soon as I can. Verbatim. Octavio? Why are you calling me? We are in the same place. Yeah, but I'm on business. This is a business call. Ugh. What do you want? <sighs> Paco lost Juniper. Want to help me find her? There's half a taco in it for you. No. But, fine. For the record, I'd help you for a taco. Juniper! You in there, girl? That's a solid maybe. But how am I gonna get you out of there? This is Diamond Danielle. The, uh, one who's not a wanted felon on three planets. So if you're security mercenaries hoping to capture me, I mean, not me, call someone else. Bye. Paco B. Dupont. I'm in the midst of an enthralling chess match. Leave your message while well, I move Rook to C4. Joke of the day. A space rabbi and an infinite recursion computer walk into a bar. Space rabbi says, tell me a joke. Infinite recursion computer says, okay. A space rabbi and an infinite recursion computer walk into a bar. Space rabbi says, tell me a joke. Infinite recursion computer says, okay. A space rabbi and an infinite recursion. If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. And to disturb a business call, but... Hold, please. This better be good. Oh, it is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this ratch is my problem, why? Well, it isn't, but you get to explode things and Paco will owe you one. Free tacos? Free tacos. Point to the problem. Thanks, Radon. Hello? Hello? Right. As I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. I found Juniper! Our amicable district hero, Octavio! You make do-gooding look almost worth doing. Oh, yeah? Ugh. Don't be needy. Take the ratch pack to Paco if you're desperate for another cookie. <gasps> Paco has cookies now? Look, guys, I found Juniper. You respect me, Juniper, don't you? Yeah, you do. Ooh. One Juniper, as promised. Oh, who's the cutest little rat that ever was? Yes, it's my Juniper, mi amor. <clears throat> Thanks, Ock. Oh, you want to see? One taco, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, is that the new foreign model, right? That thing's a real deal. You got the jail broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. 
The first one is called Vaultlander Finder. That one helps you find Vaultlanders. Hey, <laughs> you're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one organizes your finances. No, it hacks electronics. They just pick the crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Dale. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Volander Finder. <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> this is one sweet executable. A TDO Armada has been spotted in the skies above Meridian City. We are being invaded. This isn't business news. Again, Atlas troops are already mobilizing in defense. Citizen militias are defending alongside them. I repeat, a TDO invasion. That does not sound good. No, oh, it definitely does not. We'll fight him off. I won't let another corporate army take over my city. Yeah, we like the corporate army that's already here. Welcome to Franz Frogert's. How can I help? You. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? What brings you here? Oh, silly me. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is adorable. You? You look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plascrete surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Uh, thanks? <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. Still the same exact Fran. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is that your business mantra? And oh my gosh, guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage. There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jap. Oh, you're one of those. Here you go. It's on the house. <laughs> this is dairy free. What's a dairy free? Thankfully, I've been able to repurpose the basement as extra freezer space. Without it, I would have lost so much stock. Great! I love it when people show me all the damage that didn't occur. That's always super useful when assessing a claim. 
This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. Doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's one of those silly little vault landers toys. How kitschy. This is where the laser beam didn't do too much damage. So why are you showing it to me? Basis for comparison. Who's he? My apprentice, I guess. Good kid, stupid as hell, but in the handsome way. Um, do you need a minute, or...? I usually... I went through a lot of trouble to get one of these machines installed, but as you can... There you go. Just gotta know how to turn it on. The jukebox is a little worse for wear, too. It's broken to me. Nah, just needs a little of the old Fran. Razzle-dazzle. I don't like music anyway. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. I don't think you want to do that, Reeb. There's an infestation back there. Of what? All kinds of nasty things. Jabbers. Ratches. Aw, oh, I like ratches. Poor people. Ew. Best just leave it be. You might be right, but I'd be derelict in my duty if I didn't check it out, just to make extra 100% sure I've seen all the possible damage. Move the skag blasting claim! In that case, congratulations. You're stuck with this dung heap for the foreseeable future. I've pretty much seen everything I need already. I just gotta cross those T's and dot those bullet holes. Nah. <laughs> Beg pardon? Can't go back there. Private property. Ah, uh, honey. You know that doesn't apply here, right? I get to see whatever I want in order to approve your claim. And I want to see that back room. I said no, Reba. I'd say this is classic Fran, but I honestly never paid enough attention to you to know if that's true or not. Look, hun, if you want your insurance money, I need to see the whole store. The end. You've already seen the damage. Just to prove the claim. Let me simplify things for you. Let me in that back room, or I'll deny your claim right here and now. This is gonna be awkward. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. He was trying to murder me. Hence the ice picks, I presume. And you froze him? Yeah. Francine Miskowitz, your insurance claim has been approved. Really? I thought you'd be, uh, I don't know, upset. He was trying to kill you. Frankly, I'm impressed you had the stomach to stand up for yourself. <laughs> it almost makes me wonder if I should have been nicer to you in school. 
Nah. Enjoy your money. If you're gonna freeze any more creeps, let me know. I wanna watch next time. Uh, will do. City. This area is now under TDO of jurisdiction. We are implementing a curfew which begins five minutes ago. Leave the streets immediately, or we will open fire. Son of a bitch! Yeah! If anyone sticks around, I'm gonna blast you so freaking bad! Yeah! Shut up, Richard! <laughs> what do we do? Stay calm. We must approach this with level heads. If you comply, no harm will come to you. If you do not comply, your life. We can and will kill you. Which will inevitably shed blood. Citizens of Meridian! Hear me when I say TDO is prepared to take your life if you do not comply. We can't let these bastards take our streets. Not on our watch. Octavio is nearly correct. While your watches have nothing to do with it, your survival depends on taking offensive action. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna take the high ground. for backup. Right on! Remember that grenade you threw? Which one? I threw so many grenades, it's hard to keep track. The one you just threw! <laughs> All right! What about it? I could really use another. Aim for the TDO commander. I consider him blown! Oh, bollocks. Situation solved with a bullet to the nasal cavity? What isn't? <laughs> You're welcome. That's your last favor for a while. Oh, but we. What if I really need one? I'm taking the training wheels off, Ock. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. I don't wanna! Welcome. Hey, sorry, loco. I can't take any Encodex orders now. Due to the TDR invasion that's going on? This is about the TDR invasion. Oh, right on, man. Think you can take out that commander over there? <sighs> of course. Behold, the power of riches! <laughs> Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! You trained your ratchets to eat people? Ah, eating people is easy. Getting them to line dance? 
Yes, well, now that's tough. Our commander has fallen! Right, my whoever did this, I'll shoot them! Regrettably, Malvi weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. So far, this weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! And you smell like your paw! Oh yeah? Well... Your paws are filthy! Take that, you stupid piece of cheap ass D or tech! Sheep! Sheep! Buddy boy! I am a state of the art sentient weapon designed to enhance the efficacy of invasions and intimidation with exponential efficiency, you grubby little amateur! Ugh. Now stop sweating so much on my bed! Ow! Is that a good enough reason? You're making a Laying down the law. I like this, Octavio. You're obviously an intelligent special weapon. You got a mind of your own. Live your own life! You don't have to be a corporate tool for these TDR drones! You know the difference between you and me, you fat fingered moron? I know I'm a tool, and I'm damn proud of it! Fat fingered? Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. This ought to distract him. Fight! Well, he definitely won't notice us now. Let's move. Rusty sidearm, Mr. Brock! Just Brock! And you're so lucky you get to manhandle my handle. Okay, less talky, more shooty.
Yeah, you sure got me. <sighs> I hate news so much. Nice try, journalism hater. You're a real piece of work, gun guy. Why don't you turn me around and look me in the face while you say that, you lowlife? And the name's Brock. Bang! 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 He's over here! He's over here! The insurgent's over here! Nothing personal. But I just think I like you better when you're a corpse. That seems extremely personal. All right, enough of this! I think we should be safe here. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within GDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. I love the law. And we at TDR thank you for your cooperation. I will not de-escalate the situation by ending your life. Wait, wait. At least tell me your name. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. Well, my friends all call me. You just got L0U13. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanko. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. For the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk bringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill, calm woman. Today has gone so far, this seems about right. Just get it over with already! the so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> so pleased to meet 
you. What? I'm... <laughs> mistake! Mistake! A mistake is happening! Eat my egg. <laughs> Spin the D! Excuse me. <laughs> mistake! <laughs> That's just a standard way of greeting friends in your culture. Friends, no! Tell them I'll spin the teeth, whatever they want. I didn't mean to offend. Let's tell them we're running! <laughs> this doesn't seem like friendly behavior. Didn't you say we were friends? We are friends! They are mean girls! What do we do? Run! <laughs> What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! In what way exactly am I a hero? I just killed someone. Doesn't that make me a murderer? Potatoes, potatoes! You mean potato? Potato? Potatoes! You can't kill and be a hero. I was going to show people that there's another way. But now, now I'm part of the problem. Just another killer with a broken moral code. Broken best friends! Started this day? As a respected engineer with a dream and an invention that could make the world a less violent place. And now, I'm an unemployed murderer with nothing but the smoldering wreck of the car that I stole! Unemployed murderer! <laughs> 
sure. Sure. I guess I'm a hero, so long as your definition of a hero includes the wanton slaughter of other humans. It does! No! To staple face, you are hero girl! Who's staple face? Oh, right. Of course. Today was Staple Face's death day! Death day? Punishment for bad thoughts! Thought about becoming not psycho! Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day! Ah, oh, got it, I think. But Anu helped! No more death day! Reborn day! Happy reborn day to me! Happy reborn day to me! Happy reborn day, steepleface! I knew is reborn too! I am? You did a kill! Baptism by giblets! Yeah. So, for starters, I'm going to need to re-examine my entire perception of myself and my place in the world based on the discovery that I'm willing to compromise my core values in order to survive. Okay. Our what day will you be reborn to into? Me. Not a psycho. I suppose that's a start. <laughs> you? Me. <laughs> well, it seems I was recently reborn into someone who kills other people. I'm going to have to sit with that for a while. Personal growth! Consolation, Day I guess. Me. Not enough, considering I just shattered my entire moral code. But some. You're welcome! Hey, to me! I, um... I have this, uh, small rock. I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. That be reborn day. It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. I thank you with my body. So nice. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. <sighs> Thanks for that. Well, Stapleface, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? And my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! I'm back, by popular demand. We're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, 
State your name, for the record. Hiya. Assassin? Correct. It's what you think. But you're okay? The Tedior Invasion Force hasn't made it out here yet? For Flip's sake! Another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. Fran. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? He asked for a lifetime supply again. Right before trying to kill me. And you let him live? <laughs> Maybe recovery is working. We'll see. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louis. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassins? What's damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh... Franz Fogerts. Oh. The one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh... Well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. Hug. I'm fine. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Come here. They're gonna kill me! Look, I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look, just make sure he stays quiet. <laughs> Of course. No problem. I can't thank you enough. Thank me if I get out of this without a new set of holes in my head. On your knees! Get on your knees! No. The boy in the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Respond! Say something! Do it now! What boy? That boy. Ah, him. I fired him a week ago. Why? Incompetence. That sounds like a management problem. Maybe you didn't give him the tools he needed to succeed. Had you gone over a personal development plan with him? Prepare to fire! Prepare it! Tell you what. You better get a kill shot. Because bullet wounds make me real angry. Fire it! You are about to execute a TDO licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? Her Froyo machines. They're TDR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ah! What are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the... Oh. Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell. Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her. But she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns will fire and... Ah, oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination! If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt stand down on their heads. 
Let the rubble kill them. I swear. I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. This out. I mean, you don't need to trash my place. <laughs> I don't deal with little people. Hmm? The hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, dear. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Huh. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Hmm? Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. This is just the natural order of things. Look, I'm here! I'll go willingly! Things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. shop they destroyed everything bouncing banana blast <gasps> what have they done to you louis lou where are you come on pal you better just be looming somewhere like you always do lou make a bad joke if you hear me How did the robot get across the river? 
in a rowboat. What the hell? Did you just stay there on your knees doing nothing? Did you just like not try to avoid the blast at all? There was no need, Octavia. I'm built to withstand far greater shocks than the demolition of an already half-demolished Froget shop. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Oh, yeah. That's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. Take it. Oh, what's going in the I head? was worried about you. It's not safe here. Not safe? Here? There's an invasion going, and you nearly got blown up, and... Oh. You're making fun of me. Listen, I know things between us haven't been... Ooh, friendly? Loving? Respectful? Existent? Ideal? But can we please at least talk about this, not in the epicenter of an invasion? Putting aside her ego and ambition to look out for her little brother. Classic, Anu. That totally tracks with you ditching me here, by the way. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a rat's nest. This is how I choose to look now. It's my new thing. You're covered in blood. I'm fashion forward. Look, I get it. You don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit and I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> oh, damn, Anu. You're a nice cold killer now. Up! Murder! Murder! If you don't shut it, I'll murder you! It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your bro has killed tons of haters in his day. It's all part of playing the business game. I'm not interested in whatever your business is, and I'm certainly not playing anyone's game. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. 
That doesn't make any sense. You could use a treat. Cuckoo coconut. The last flavor to survive the attack. Anu, this is Fran. She's taken care of me ever since you, well, left. Fran, this is Anu, my sister who was smart enough to get a job off planet. It's nice to meet you. And thank you, I love ice cream. Frozen yogurt. Oh. What's wrong with frozen yogurt? Nothing. Nothing. There is nothing wrong with frozen yogurt. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Meet Anu. My sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is our... I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh, never had anything like that at Atlas. Shockingly. Atlas! Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No. Oh, well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. Atlas, Malawan TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want and you move on. You're the big people and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas, I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you're hiring them. Well, sure. I don't know. You sure seem like a corporate tool. I was just fired for refusing to make anything that would kill anyone. And for freeing lab jabbers. Well, maybe not. Plus, she's my sister. We share that free spirit DNA. Or what if we shared DNA? I don't smell too much of that Atlas stink on you. All right, you're okay with me, for now. <laughs> thank, thank me, I, I mean you, I mean, thank. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. You trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu. You know my stealing days are behind me? Fran sure does. Back me up, Fran. Fran knows what's up. Right, Fran? Never stolen from me, at least. Because he doesn't have a death wish. That's right. Call me Mr. Not Steal. Because he spends all his days... not stealing. Very impressive. Proud of you, bro. Thanks. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like a radio. TDR calm. Octavio's pocket. Fran! A, a Tidior comms device? How the heck did you get this? Well, it's a complicated story. I, uh... Stole it. Fran! Octavio! Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Soft banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, wherever that is. Yeah, that's a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> they're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and they think, there was a vault key being kept on the station at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. 
If no, 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 it's not worth it. Tidior has many guns, talking guns, guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Your sister is correct. You probably will be. Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world, to prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like Tidior from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. Change the world. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was going to say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I got to run, because, uh... Hi, boss! Looks like they're going to... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? Tidior has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals Tidior comms. Got it. You definitely have not. You really don't give a ratch's ass about Atlas or Tidior. You ready to go to God knows where for this vault? I suppose. Wherever it is, it can't be worse than here. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? <laughs> Not unless the big monster guarding the vault is named Susan Coldwell. She wrecked my shop. Nearly kicked me off the wagon. Oh, that corporate butt sniffer and I have a polyamorous date with my punching fist. So many tragedies in one sentence. I've lost enough to know that most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is Tidior. She's the CEO, the big cheese. And we steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under Tidior's nose. You sock a wallet to Tidior, translate a property, you sock a wallet to Susan. Actually, Yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. You always know how to weasel someone with words. Lovable weasel? Eh. All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not- Destinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of 10 skateboards. All sorts of data, your speech, actions, how you look at each other, personal hygiene. Whoa, what an awesome way to create team unity. Great work, Louis. Flattery will not improve your teamwork score. It only appears, what's the human phrase? Thirsty. What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is six out of 10 skateboards. Congratulations. 
You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan. And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all. Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? Think about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Oh, what makes some free trade? This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where Tidior's heading. For Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The Lycra really supports my delicates, too. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. My useless rubble. Come on, this way! You've got a secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. <sighs> if you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. I would we... talk about something we definitely won't see. Got it. Friend. <laughs> Do you want to die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of TDO troops. How do you know that? Uh, I snuck a tracker into your clothes in Why case I ever would he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? 
Stealth, like shooting them quietly? Uh-uh, like not shooting at all. Oh, uh, okay, I guess. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. Well, just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so... Our options are to sneak around and pray nobody spots us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Good to be back on Promethea, huh? Guess you're the tiebreaker, sis. What do you want to do? No hard feelings either way. Even if you choose a complete stranger over your own brother. There's really no wrong choice here. Maybe just a writer choice, friend. Or Octavio! Octavio! Or friend. Who's it gonna be? Just a polite reminder that we're on a time-sensitive mission here and your input is currently critical. Let's, uh, maybe try not to murder people? Prude. All right then. Follow my lead. Better follow. Oh crap. Won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't like zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. I like, like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise. I'm streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. Disagree. Is, is that a... No! It couldn't be! Not worth much in the market, but to a true Vaultlander connoisseur. My Vaultlander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vaultlanders must be earned. To the right of glorious combat! You wanna... fight? Indeed I do. Will versus Will. Vaultlander to Vaultlander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. As is the warrior's code. But if I win, your Vaultlander and your life are forfeit. 
is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Combat! Versus Zane Vaultlanders! Fight! I respect your superior combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go. Your soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogurt better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Never been sure before. Why start now? Right now, they're more vulnerable than we are. We should keep it that way. So let them get closer and closer to the vault because... Because Tidior may not be the worst thing lurking around here, and whoever has the vault key is going to be the primary target. If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer. We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. No. Let's go. Like an opening. Confirmed. That's an opening. Opening confirmed. You got the key. You go first. Oh, no, 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 no. After you. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, no, no, no. Be, be, be my guest. Seriously. I insist. I see something. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. I think I've done it. Yes. It's opening. Yeah. Doug? Doug? No, wait. Isn't it Anthony? Anthony! Doug Anthony! We're not gonna get another opportunity! Wait! <laughs> oh boy. We better call for backup. Confirmed. Going for backup. Big deal. Just 
a couple of alien warriors. Pretty sure they didn't see us. <laughs> Time to boogie, kids. Friend's gonna get us out of here. Thank you, Fran. No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we are done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. Might be worth Octavio's. We've come this far, we can't just leave. Are you aware of the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, Anu, I've sunk a fallacy before. Uh... We're safer here than out there, or back in the sewers. In fact, this is the safest we've been in hours. The only way out is through. Kid's got a point. Wait. I got it! What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? You're ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a musk. Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches! They're tunnelers! They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet ratch Juniper will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes! That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? I wouldn't. Would. Not... I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. Right. We'll see you on the other side. We made it. It's beautiful. Fran should be seeing this. She could name a frog after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. You're right. Fran should be here. Miss me? It's... No! 
Anyway, look! All that effort and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? Quiet. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound eating device or something? Can you hear me? Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device thingy? Oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally, both. There does seem to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the genius of Dr. Tannis and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Ancient alien runes. And the entire message is intact. Incredible. This must be a clue to the vault treasure. Need a professional rune wall inscription service? Call Vinnie and Polly's rune inscribers. You've got a wall, we'll put runes on it. Cave walls, defensive walls, even dry walls. No walls too big or too small for our runes. Call now for a free estimate. We also do ceilings. See? Uh. Anu? Found anything yet? Found anything yet? Found anything yet? Anu? Anu? I bet the treasure's in here. Who the heck keeps an empty chest in a vault? Eureka! A false bottom filled with fat stacks of cash? How is this inside a vault sealed by an ancient alien race? No, you know what? Don't overthink it, Anu. Now, what else can I find? This looks promising. Maybe you just gotta think like treasure. Like, if I were treasure, where would I hide? Better translate this. Treasure circle. Guys! I think we hit the jackpot! We've come a long way. Survived countless dangers. But we made it. Let's get our treasure! <laughs> Garbage shower? Ah, damn the brakes! Why would they even have a garbage shower? They are an ancient alien race. We will never understand them.
I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? Do aliens have doubloons? There's gotta be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavia sense is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. And I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. This is bullshit! Somebody my size, jackass. Hey! Well, we're not a bad team. Yeah, we're quite the pair. <laughs> I was including Octavio. Hey, thanks! Hey, I suggest we split up. It can't get all of us. Probably. It probably can't. Dinner first, girl. Is that really how you want to go? In the belly of a vault monster? There are worse ways. You really want to die before you can make TD or pay. You die now, you die a loser. You hear me? A poor, unconventionally attractive loser. Just defending its home. I hope I didn't hurt it too bad. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad someone else actually... Kidding! That thing can eat my ass! Woo! Is it really dead? Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length, perhaps with a stick. Fran, you made that look easy! I mean, Fran totally murked that thing. Wasn't near as bad as I thought it would be. Maybe we'll be alright. Stop! Don't jinx it. 
Don't be superstitious. If it's truly dead, what could possibly go wrong? Stop with the jinxing! What in the what? that green thingy it's got in its tongue i don't think it's in its tongue i think he's cradling it with its tongue sort of protecting it i mean i respect it that's some next level's tongue work that's gross and besides the point i think it's healing him we need to get it out of that monster's mouth i i have a plan i was worried we were all gonna die now we're gonna die with a plan That's nice. So, what's the plan? Let's hear it. I can romance it, right? Octavio, you need to distract the monster for Fran. My Octavio sense is telling me that's super dangerous. It is. Fran needs to get a clean shot of that tongue with her freeze ray. When it's frozen, you knock the shot loose with your signature Fran punchy punch. You have suspiciously little to do with this plan. You one of those idea women? I'll be prepping my Iridium device for a mega blast. When the shard is free, I'll send the rest of the monster on a nice little vacation far, far away. All right, we're dead. Okay, distract the vault monster, she says. Like it'll be easy, she implies. Like I'm stalling, he realizes. <sighs> You can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last words should be memorable. Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! No rest for the wicked. No, I can do better. No rest for the wicked. No. No rest for Octavio! Right! Just give me time to get into position and then hide like your life depends on it. Glad you're alive, but you need to leave! Where is friend? In position! Great! Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no, you need to keep distracting it! That thing nearly ate me alive! Yes! Great! Now I need you to get almost eaten again! I'm kinda scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go! Looking for me? I need to reconfigure the settings and remove the safety. We're gonna need every bit of power this baby's got. 
Gonna need a closer shot at that thing. Great! How am I supposed to get away from this thing now? <sighs> oh, Anu! Hi! I have so much to tell you about! Freddy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What you... <sighs> Vaulty? Come on, you two! Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one! Now, Octavio, move those feet! Sure, they get to cheerlead while I run for my life. <laughs> Just one more lap, Octavio. Don't get scared now. Don't make me get scared now, Octavio! Huh? What we doing? That's right, keep running! One vault monster coming up! Almost there. Just a few more adjustments. There! I've done it! I hope this monster likes Iridium because he's about to get a taste! Now, Fran! Now, Fran! The right jeepers! Voyage. Enjoy your vacation to somewhere else. That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! Did. It's what my device did before I broke it, saving our lives. Still, that was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! Hey! You alright? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me. And not in the normal way you pretend to not hear me. I don't know, but... We survived the fight. Maybe whatever that was had something to do with it? That's pretty optimistic. Why assume the worst when you can assume the best? Ew. Hey. We gotta get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. We 
just did that, right? That was... So we're like vault hunters now. We are a triple digit body count short of being actual vault hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to defeat a space god. Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint. I think this crystal is the vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know, just when I touched it, I saw something, I felt something. Like something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something. Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! Kick Susan Coldwell's ass! Oh. Right. Tidior. Uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that means we got all the leverage. Good. Saves me the trouble of looking for them. Fran, they have an army. And I have a temper to keep in check. Meaning? Meaning when I kill Susan Coldwell... I'll do it awful politely. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Voltlander warrior would never break a bond fort in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god! I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. What were we talking about again? Ah, the ding-dongs with the weird crystal. You see, when opportunity knocks, it's always tempting to open the door. But one must be careful of what awaits on the other side. And what walks through afterward. The doctor, the bruiser, and a man about town had secured themselves a mysterious treasure. And with it, the attention of many dangerous people. Namely, Susan Coldwell, chairwoman of the Tidior Corporation. But those were worries for the future. For now, they had to rest, regroup, and figure out exactly what they'd gotten their hands on. What's with the long face? We just killed a vault monster. Did he drop a fully furnished Frogert shop? Or a gun with bullets that seek out Susan Coldwell's brainstem? No. That's why I'm upset! You are back. Judging by your mood and dopamine levels, I have determined that team morale is high. You have earned plus three skateboards. What do the skateboards do again? Yes. Ah. Oh. Friend, next time you'll be the bait. No, I won't. No, you won't. You appear to be injured, Octavio. How? Oh, you know, you fight an all-powerful vault monster, you're gonna have to deal with a few boo-boos. Your word choice implies a possible concussion. No, that's just him. What happened to you all, exactly? Tell me the story of how you did not immediately die. We nearly got killed. It was like 80% luck and 10% teamwork that we got out of there at all. Honest response that does not make you seem at all cool. But you respect me for telling the truth, right? Absolutely not. Lie next time. Oh, you should have seen it. With the three of us working together, Easy! That thing didn't stand a chance. You are lying. Can't prove it, though. Vault monsters typically drop treasure. Where is your treasure? 
I, uh... I'm keeping it safe. What are you doing? Wait. Nothing happened to you when you touched it? No, like, visions? No. What? Never mind. This is an unknown, potentially volatile substance, and you're just... Tossing it around? Listen here, Miss A. Yeah, Anu, calm. Do not tell me to calm down. Call me interested in talking more about this. What I meant to say was, uh... What, we can't run experiments on this thing? And what exactly are you testing by tossing it in the air? Duh. Aerodynamics. I thought you were the scientist. What's the big deal? It's just a rock. Oh my god! What are you doing? Beating your ass to keep away as per usual. Just be careful. We don't know what exposure to it or touching will do. If this thing was dangerous, the vault monster would have used it as a weapon. But it didn't. So we've got nothing to worry about. Ow! Oh, my ankle! Oh yeah. That's broken. Oh, for... I told you to stop! That feels nice. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I guess I'm made of stronger stuff than I thought. No. No, you aren't. It's the shard. It, it, it healed you just like it healed that creature. So, what does that mean for us? We're gonna be rich! I have to run a lot more tests. We have a magic rock that heals people. We went down into that vault looking for a way to get rich, and this is it! Now you have to calm down. We can't get excited about all this until we fully understand the variables. This little experiment might not even be repeatable. We can't be sure it'll heal every wound every time. Sure we can. Hawk, what are you doing? Being the man! What? Don't be stupid! No! No! I'm not the man! I'm not the man! That's for sure. <laughs> I also concur. And heal! And heal! This is why I said we needed to run more tests! When will you ever learn to be more careful? It's work. It's working! <laughs> I've learned nothing! Oh, man! The pain went away completely. I got full mobility. Hot damn! Okay, that's great, but now, shoot me. What? <laughs> Don't! I cannot stress enough how moronic this is. <laughs> This rules! Do me again! Do not! Do not, do not, do not, do not! <coughs> ow, 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 My turn! Please, don't. Ways I could say stop doing this. Just stop doing this. Now we're talking. Uh -oh. <laughs> Woo! Go on, take my lap, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you've got to try this thing. Don't, uh, come on! It's all kind of <laughs> exhilarating. I'd really prefer not to. Hey, how are you gonna test this thing if you haven't been on the other side of it? Just shoot somebody! It's just all the 
shouting makes me nervous, and I probably shouldn't have a gun if I'm nervous. Come on, stop being such a stick in the mud and live a little. I... Okay. You're right. This is a serious bastardization of the scientific process, but we're learning, right? Don't be such a stick in the mud, Anu. I guess for the sake of science. Oh no! What did you do? You said to shoot somebody! Not in the neck! I wasn't even aiming! Clearly! Not cool, Anu. Ah! Ah. You okay? Peachy. <laughs> okay. Let's try and put all that behind us and focus on the path forward. Because. <gasps> I didn't say shoot my dang heart. You got three out of four chambers. Shot through the heart. And you're to blame. Your skills indicate a natural inclination towards murder. What? No! Uh, I can't believe you did this to me, my own sister. I'm sorry. I love you. You made me shoot somebody. Sure, blame the victim. <laughs> I'm... Ooh! I'm okay. And... I think... I have an idea. Science? <gasps> What'd you do that for? You said to shoot somebody! Somebody made of meat! You shot a robot like some kind of... monster! How do you feel? I feel... nothing. It's what I always feel. It doesn't work on bots! Well, I mean, now we know that. Th that's useful data. Yes, and here is more useful data. Minus one million skateboards for neglecting to shoot one of your human companions. Yanu! Great, now we've lost skateboards, which I care about a lot. Louis, I... apologize. Sincerely. Will you let us keep our skateboards if I promise to shoot a human next time? Yes. Goody. Thank you for helping my big sis learn from her many, many flaws. Yes, thank you. Wait, what do you mean, many flaws? I don't have nearly enough time to get into all that. Besides... <laughs> It's okay, we're okay. Hey, you should be feeling better now. Look, wave of euphoria coming your way. Ah! Oh no, oh, oh, come on, sis. It felt really weird. I'm sorry, I thought it would. You told me to shoot somebody. I did, I did, that's my bad. Shouldn't have, should have known you would fall on that sword. Bullet, I'm sorry, but hey. This is good data, right? We know, we know not everyone has a, a good reaction to the healing. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, this is good data. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, I guess I'm okay. Okay, great, because I sort of have an idea. So we have a weird healing rock, which is great. Everyone loves healing. But what's the one thing everyone loves more than healing? Gun. Guns. Guns! Guns! Why does everything have to be a gun? Wait, 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 but not a gun. Not the hurdy bang bang kind. 
This would be a long range healing gun, right? It just shoots, you know, beautiful rock slivers instead of bullets. A long range. What's that face? Is that a good face, bad face? A long range glow. Uh-uh. We can't risk damaging the actual shard without knowing where or if there's a source to replenish it from. I am definitely not yanking more of these out of some ancient angry monster. Oh, yeah. No. But we don't need to. If this... This element, whatever this is, functions anything like Iridium does, which it seems to in terms of energy expenditure, uh, then I can harness that energy and consolidate it into a beam of light. Uh, a healing ray. Really? Yes. I had a good idea. Because it feels like I actually maybe did. You had a good idea. Ah, it's completely fried. All right. If we're going to get anywhere with this idea. My idea. I'm going to need to fix my. Our. Device. Your gun is broken? My device need some minor repairs. I'm going to see if there's anything useful in this Froyo garbage. <gasps> Your Froyo garbage. Ah, yes. You'll do nicely as a transparent containment unit. I think. You know what they say. Reduce, reuse, reimagine how to recreate your invention using found materials from a bombed out Froga shop. Well, it won't be playing any of Prometheus' hottest hits anytime soon. Not that I ever wanted to hear the psycho shuffle again. Oh. Fran, is there a reason why there's a camera hidden inside your jukebox machine? Yeah. It's for my only friends. Only friends? Yeah, you know, it's a subscription service for my loyal customers so they can keep an eye on the shop. Sort of like crowdsourcing a security team to keep an eye on the place. But don't tell my fanatics that. <laughs> yes! Got it! Oh! Uh, sorry. Uh, the camera was offline, and the shop as well. <laughs> So I thought maybe I could use the lens on the device. Is there anything you can't add marketing to these days? Pressure sensitive tape. A true testament to the power of science and engineering. Presuming Fran doesn't have a welding machine, this ought to do the job. Ooh, scrap metal, perfect. That scrap you're talking about is my Froyo machine. And did it always look like this? Listen here, Judgy. She may have needed some encouragement from time to time, but she never let me down. Based on my analysis, this machine is, well, how to put it? Demolished, broken beyond repair, unusable, out of commission. You touch my machine, and it's you who will be out of commission. Capiche? Yes, got it. Capiche you loud and clear. Well, it's nice to see you be the best at something that isn't illegal, little brother. Best employee. He was the only employee. Ah. Oh, my God. Is he dead? He's not dead, right? Tell me he's not dead, please. Who, Hank? Oh, he'll be fine. He just needed some time to cool off, and I obliged. Refrigerators are full of usable material. <gasps> and me. I know what you're thinking. I thought I abandoned you in shame in a sewer. And you're right. But I do not capitulate so easily. 
No, no. I craved a rematch so I might reclaim my honor. Of course. So, I did what any person of right mind would do, and I followed your trail here. No, well, not here. Here. This is my forward operating base as I plot my redemption. You're living in off rich? It is for air conditioning. So, uh, who's pathetic now? Still me. Enough pity. I challenge you to Vault Landers. Game of Kings, the true battle of brain. I don't even know how to play. You'll pick it up. It's really quite simple. Now, battle! Versus Vasquez, Vault Landers, fight! Victory is yours. Uh, yes, it is. You fought with great skill. Are you truly a novice? Were you hustling me? I'm sure I've never played before, but I understand the appeal. Do you want to live with me in this fridge? What? No. <laughs> but thank you for the game. This was fun. Fun? How dare you besmirch Vault Landers by calling it fun? Tis a duel of strategy, bravado, and guile. You are unworthy of your natural skill. Be gone. Open or closed? Closed. So weird. If there are any working fuses in here, I can use one to help regulate current. Is touching live fuses part of your scientific genius? Oh, oh! Should I have been touching live fuses this whole time? No! Octavio, live fuses are still bad. I just assumed with all the destruction the fuses were dead. I'll use my tech goggles to check them now. Thanks. <clears throat> One good fuse is all I need. Uh, so long as I don't screw up the assembly process, that is. Huh. Ta-da! Now, for the finishing touch. It didn't... But it should have... I, I, I don't... Should it do something? It's not calibrating to this new element. I'll make a few adjustments. That's all. It didn't detonate in my face. Beautiful. Now, to ensure this healing ray actually uh, heals, which would require an injury to uh, heal. So we get to shoot ourselves again. We need to test the device. By shooting ourselves again. For the good of science. Needs to be me. It's my device and it's... To be honest, I didn't exactly have it working perfectly before. I won't risk it on either of you. But... Wow. So badass. Wow. Gross. Ew. Anu. Ow. Ish. You were just taking turns shooting at each other like it was a pillow fight. Yeah, that was nuts, but like awesome. This, however, is just unsettling. All right, fine. Now, someone has to do the honors. I mean, she's clearly gonna choose her own brother. Right, Anu? Anu, right? How about it, little brother? For science? For science. All right. Here goes... Everything. Here goes everything. For real, Anu. This thing's... Cool. It worked. I 
I knew it would work. Of course it worked! We are gonna be so freaking rich! <laughs> I have harnessed the power of life itself. Oh, damn, does it make you high? I am high only on science. Okay, yeah, that sounds a little bit more on brand. Do you guys realize what we have here? Women. Do you women realize what we have here? Just say y'all. Do y'all realize that this could change everything? That it will be as easy to save a life as take it? That injuries, sickness, they can all be solved with the pull of a trigger? That just maybe this universe will finally give life the respect it deserves? I can't believe it. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! Yes! All that stuff! For sure. You're just thinking about the money, aren't you? No! I totally respect life! So much! Oh yes, speaking of which, thank you for helping me kill Hubert Hotdog. I have forwarded your percentage of the bounty. <laughs> All right. So, we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that, we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. Counterpoint, what better way to test the shard than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy gu These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on. This is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something. There is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. But at Atlas, they fired you. I mean, pretending I'd go along with this whole thing, just hypothetically. Louis, do you have any high-value targets we could take out? Take out? I'm an assassination bot, not a take-out bot. In any case, in order to raise the funds required for your business venture, we would need to take out a target with the relative galactic importance of... calculating... the sun. So, is there anyone like that, or...? There is no one like that. Less stupid items will finally be on something other than wanted posters. And that'll solve all your problems. Yeah, Fran gets it. I think you misread my tone. Fran doesn't get it. Look, once we're famous, we'll have a blank check to live our lives the way we want. And that's at least as important as being able to undo wounds or whatever. All right. So, we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that, we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. Counterpoint, what better way to test the shard than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy gu- These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on. This is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something. There is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. But at Atlas, they- Fired you. I- <sighs> Oh, okay. Say you're right. Where would we get this kind of startup money? I mean, pretending I'd go along with this whole thing, just hypothetically. I could find an old rich lady, maybe one who inherited a few billion from her iridium mining parents. I could learn her interests, seduce her, marry her. Maybe a few months after the honeymoon, an accident is meant to befall her. But as we stand at the precipice of Lookout Cliff, 
I hesitate. I can't make the final push. Her skin is too welcoming, too soft. Her laugh, too genuine. And what's this? Warmth in my chest? Could it be that even if the marriage was a sham, the love we shared was real? I don't know, just spitballing. Less stupid idea. We could go on sink or swim. Oh! What? It's this new Promethean echo cast where you pitch an invention to an investor. If he likes it, he basically throws endless money at you. What if he doesn't like it? I do not know. Never actually watched it, friend. It comes on during the evening Frogurt Rush, so I haven't seen it either. Well, it's Promethean, so probably something bad. Guaranteed something very bad. Probably something bad, yes. But hey, if anyone else has a smarter plan, I'm all ears. <sighs> all right. Sink or swim it is. But if we win... When we win? We have to invest some of that money into research. Deal? Deal. <sighs> Deal. All right. Let's get ready for a pitch that will change the universe. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Don't oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. <sighs> Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamoose. Move your tush. It's okay. I'm very important. I don't know what that means. It means I can get into any building I want without a guard's gut in my way. Body shaming. Two paces back. <clears throat> I'm the new guard, and I'm relieving you. Right now. Who hired you? Uh, Jim... Jiminy... Jimerson. Jim... Jiminy... Jimerson. Oh, he knows I need these hours. You're not winning this one, Jim Jiminy Jimerson. I'm not playing your game. I'm standing right here. Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Whoa! What the hell, you? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. 
on his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous, I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. No, no, no. You keep it. I have something money can't buy. Integrity. Okay, then. But I was hoping uh, I'd get something even better. Like, more money. No. You have integrity. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. Be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers. <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces. This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Pierre Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh, <laughs> you'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to, like, waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on, hit me with it. You, nervous girl. I'm your driver. Let me see it at least. Come on, hit me with it. Give me your pitch, or I'll kill ya! Ha! Just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, you can see it, but that's it. Otherwise, you'll learn about our project along with the judges. Oh, wow. So you don't actually have a pitch. That's. Ooh, that's embarrassing. What? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and, uh, update. I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product. If this baby makes it to market, everything you know will change. Everything. Wow. That is vague to the point of utter uselessness. Fantastic. In your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face, too, just to make sure he got the message. Hate showbiz. You're forced to deal with weirdos and eagle maniacs. Oh, I'm sure it's way better working for giant corporate weapons manufacturers. You know what they say. People who manufacture weapons were too ugly for showbiz. Huh? Uh, no one says that. In Fran's defense, he had a very punchable face. In, in fact, if I could... Create an index of all the punchable faces. I, I, I'd punch them in order, starting with his. Sick burn, sis. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? 
I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident! Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that octavial swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people, and I'm... Oh, God! When people ask about you, they just want to hear about themselves. So get very personal. Dig deep into their childhoods, crushes, whatever. I don't think a game show host wants me to ask about his childhood. Oh, he does. Because no one else has. Somewhere there's that little host that wants to be heard. Find him. Listen to him. See him. Then take his prize money and bolt. <laughs> the trick is to imagine the audience naked. Seriously? Yeah, how can you be afraid of someone when they're naked? <laughs> That's a great tip. Imagine the audience naked. <sighs> Don't do it now. I'm not. Because I'm your brother. I know. Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine, stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh, uh, but does it need more style? Is our device just... just... quaint? How do I give it, you know... pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person. I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> Get creative. You gotta soup that thing up, and you gotta soup it up now. With what? With how? You were able to build it in a burnt-out Froyo place from a pile of scraps, Anu. Where'd that go-getter genius get off to? I like it. It looks... Spartan. Utilitarian. I do, too. But I'm starting to think that won't be enough for a bunch of buzz-hungry, image-obsessed game show investors. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more, Octavio. What do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. Right, Palantine. You're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. Oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Yeah, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this, is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I'm... I am about to lose control of myself, and I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Took you so long. I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. It's all gonna be okay. Fran and I took care of it because we're supportive colleagues working towards shared success. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. 
to stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim, yada, yada, yada. We're on in five, I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradhadar. And this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh, okay. You, you're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. Please put your hands together for my favorite host and yours, Finnegan W. Triton. Welcome to Sink or Swim, the show where daring entrepreneurs face off for funding from me. Because, well, I'm rich. Now, are you ready to welcome our first enterprising engineer? Yeah. <laughs> I know I am. Yeah. Announcer, tell us who it is. With pleasure, Finnegan. He's lean, he's mean, he's Pierre Valentine. In the show, Pierre, there's just one question on my mind. Are you ready? Two. Big fan of the show, Finn, and I'm gonna be an even bigger fan of it once I win it with my incredible new invention! Ha! Kidding. Not about winning, though. Ooh-hoo-hoo! A contestant with bravado. Let's just hope his invention is as impressive as his ego. Finnegan, that's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. Guy like that will do anything for ratings. He's got an eye for the pageantry of it all. Is that good? It means we'll have to meet him on his level. Go for spectacle. Don't focus on the nerdy stuff. But the nerdy stuff is my stuff. Oh, don't worry, honey. When in doubt, just uh, 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 do something violent. I don't like him. Too handsome? That's why I don't like you. Him, I just don't trust the guy. I'd be careful, girl. He's hot. Fran, can we focus on something other than your libido? Now, now. This could come in handy. Worst comes to worst, you think it could seduce him, Fran? Obviously, right. Dumb question. There's no such thing as a dumb question. That one was. All right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I, I believe it's, it's a ball. No, it, it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I'm in sabotage. Sabotage! That's horrible. Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly. And smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. Oh look, more cool stuff on TV. Why do I feel like you're trying to distract me? <laughs> distract you? Why would I distract you when there's such excellent development on this program that we should watch right now? Mon chari gonna get dunked. I 100% did not sabotage our competitor, Anu. Come on, it's me. Would I lie to you? Yes. 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 Listen, hon, he did 100% sabotage that drip's invention, and I helped him do it. You needed help, so we helped. I... I... Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> okay, you know what? 
I did sabotage this product. Oh, ten of you! And I'd do it again, too! One thousand times! You know why? Because I did it for you. That's sweet, Oc. Ethically very wrong! But sweet. Yeah, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show, unfortunately, your pitch, it's a ball. No, I swear it does more, so much more. Somebody said tampered with the algorithm. I've been cheated, swindled, <laughs> hard swoggled. And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float, I know you should tell him that. Yeah, like why not something with sink or swim in it, like like float and, and dunk. <laughs> What's that even? We just watched a man get eaten alive. And so the wheel of life turns. <laughs> <laughs> Octavius first kill, Octavius first kill. I'll dunk you in the sharks, I'm an ice cold player. I don't think it counts, kid. Your intent was just to sabotage him, remember? Yeah. So the sharks tearing him apart was, at best, an unforeseen consequence. Yeah? So you didn't kill Pierre Ballandine. Maybe it was manslaughter, but that's a stretch. Octavius first manslaughter, Octavius first manslaughter. Let's not be hasty, we don't know if he's actually dead. Oh, and chunks of Pierre Palantine's spine and ribcage are flown into the surface. And wow, these sharks are feasting on all his internal organs, all the ones he need to survive. They're all chewed up in the shark's belly. Yes, sir, there can be no doubt that Pierre Palantine is absolutely, definitively, 100% dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Eat them all up. Knew he was a showman. Oh, I hate it when I'm right. Oh my god! If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Whoa. That little futz turned out to be a big futz. You messed with his device. You. You killed him! He woke up alive, crossed paths with you, and now he's dead! It was him or us! And I chose us. I regret nothing. Totally deserved it. No regrets. <laughs> I'm about to pitch a healing device in front of the world. How can I sell this product while you two are causing literal harm to others? Either of you ever heard of a thing called karma? What is that? A Freya flavor? <laughs> yeah, I love karma. <laughs> oh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. You still think he's sexy? Just murdered a man in front of a live audience. I knew. So you do think he's still sexy? Of course I still think he's sexy. Oh, my God! If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anurata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently, we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavio! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! Please welcome your next 
contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and overall dingus, Dr. Anurada Dar. Who wrote that introduction? I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? I've always wanted to be a siren. It's not really just a question for me, but also my two trusted teammates. <laughs> no project is built by one woman alone. A and really, aren't we all standing on the shoulders of giants? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. Salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. You know, at this point, there really is only one answer here. So this shouldn't be too hard for you. You pick one or the other. There's literally no wrong answer. Except for the wrong answer. This is easily my least favorite part of my job. No, I, I, I can't do this. I'm not ready. Jeez, every contestant on this show has been a dud. Look, I'm going to be real with you. This episode isn't even watchable. And I have ratings to consider. Meanwhile, you break onto my show and get yourself on my stage. Now I could have you arrested, or I could sink you, right now. But I'd rather hear your pitch. So what do you say? Yes. Just a little louder for the folks at home! Yes! I'm ready to swim! <laughs> okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So, you were saying something about eating a siren? That's not exactly what I... Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Imagine them naked. Pardon? It's great! Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present. It's a happy zappy zappy to make you stop feeling crappy crappy. What does that even mean? A zappy zappy. They're happy. <laughs> the Hermes! Oh, God, not again. <sighs> I gotta have a talk with my producers. You're Ex Atlas, aren't you? How did you. Well, you started showing Promethea, it's bound to happen, right? But would it kill you people to play a little bit more with the naming convention? Okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So, you were saying. Something about a giant ass woman? That's not exactly what I do present. The Hippocratic Matic. Right. Because hippos do no harm. Sure. All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. Wow. What a remarkable 
design really, really catches the eye. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quite, right? I'm glad you like it. Quaint is definitely not the word I would use. Well done on creating a not at all quaint looking device. Thank you. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another Anu. And I gave it the hard sell. Just really sweaty and desperate. Yeah. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's science and magic. <laughs> Technically, it's magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. Science, magic, smagic. Don't worry about it. You seem nervous. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? towards the sync button. This laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, What kind of finishing move could she even... Oh, she ripped the fin off! She ripped the fin right off! <sighs> and ate it? How do you even eat something underwater? There's so, so, so much blood. Just an inexcusable, obscene amount of blood. But yes, 
She's done it. She's got Anu and she's coming back up. Thanks. Have been lifting. <sighs> oh no. I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this. I loved your pitch. Thank you. Really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang up job. Yeah. Good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something is. Anu. Anu! Wake up! Stay with us. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Something else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right. We can use the device. We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out. It's working! <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun! Device. Hot diggity, you scared me half to death! Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a- Shh, shh. Hush your nerve mouth. You didn't ask for any of this. It should have been me. It should have been me! It's... So that's a no then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I might have an offer for you, if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and envies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel investor! Who is it? Who? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. That's right! Booyah! Fantastic! What a roller coaster! That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Swim! Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. did not sink, we swam. I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly, classic blood loss. I'm not so sure, it, it felt- Who cares, we got our money, cash paper. My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you. 
Uh... I could. But I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were gonna die, but... I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Aww. I wouldn't be able to go on without you either. Yeah, that's because you'd be dead. Right, but I... Like, incredibly dead. Okay. Way too dead to hang. Thanks. Same. Thought I'd get this, uh, vulnerable. <laughs> it feels... off-brand. That's incredibly sweet of you. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah, I'm not sure where this is coming from. It feels like there's a jabber clawing at the inside of my chest. Feelings. They're called feelings. Hey! Let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Oh. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg, it saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran, you are brash. Crude and impulsive. Anu? But also courageous, devoted, and well, a good friend. I, I see why Octavio likes you so much. And you're really bad at giving compliments. But I like you okay too, hon. Oh, look at you two bonding. Things are looking up. We aren't dead. You two are getting along. And on top of all that, oh, you got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Oh, it's the angel investor. Well, shucks now. Ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and. What are your terms? There's got to be a catch. Friend, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Half, we accept. We accept. <laughs> Thanks, bye. No! Oh, what gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. <gasps> We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. Of course we did. You should have seen it, Lou. I hacked this Jack Hat's ball thing. Which got him killed. <laughs> ball thing. And we gave the audience a live demonstration that will live on in infamy. It was so epic, some anonymous Brazilianaire called into the show and funded our company. We're super rich now! He is embellishing again, isn't he? Actually, no. That's more or less what happened. I am relieved that you are not dead, and that you are no longer poor. Plus 500 skateboats for us. That's not how the system works. There is a complicated calculus involved in your skateboard metric, Francine. And... We just pulled out a miracle, and we did it with style. That's got to be worth some skateboards. Not wrong, Francine. And... Judging by the mood of general confidence, it would appear you are working well as a team. Thirteen skateboards. On a scale of what to what? Skateboards. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals 
and as a team, fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran, despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our own programming. The trick is to make sure you don't let it control you. You have considered letting it control you five times in the last 24 hours. Shut up. Six. But I cannot contravene my programming. Does that mean I am weak? I don't know. Life's weird. It is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Francine? Your hesitant alarmation alarms me. Oh, perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, maybe there is hope for me. Louis, you're what we'd call a solid seven. Nothing to get excited about, but good enough to settle down with. But I don't want to be a seven. I want to be a ten. Now, you're a six. I feel I now have more questions than you want me to lie and tell you you're a good person, robot? I'm not gonna do that. You kill people for kinda no reason, which isn't great. I am paid money to kill. I require money to survive. Does that not morally absolve me? Capitalism. It's a real kick in the tit, huh? That is unfair. I mean, not really. I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that. Nonetheless. Having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people, or robots, whoever. I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs if- Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. It was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? <laughs> just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. Just one sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... Busted. We can salvage this. We use the investor's money and rebuild right here. Building would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. This place has been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Fran's frogates left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of co Why are you making that throat-cutting motion? <sighs> Franz Frogerts isn't dead dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. Sure, it can live on in your hearts, but legally and financially, Franz Frogerts is unequivocally dead. I hope this clarity was helpful. Listen, we got a different dream now. All of us together. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by their real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. If we're getting a new HQ, can you do me a solid and make sure it has an armory? I'm not sure that fits our brand. Tell that to my Froger shop that was attacked twice. Fair. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I gonna do? Oh, I have the perfect job for you. What does every startup company need? The thing that defines company culture. 
Oh, got it. Lots of people working elbow to elbow so that nobody has any privacy or personal space and glass enclosed conference rooms. This is more than rubble to me, Octavio. It's my life's work. Your life's work is 70% demolished and. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry, just uh, swallowed some uh, dust from all the. Uh, the, 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 the rubble. Frogurt machines in the break room. Ah? Ah? No. Sure. Maybe. But also, staff. You, me, Anu, and Louis, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me, after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me, after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. Great. It's settled. I'll go get an HQ. Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff. And Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right. Same thing. I think. Look at us! Working together separately to get this business off the ground. Indeed. This deserves a skateboard. Oh, goody, a skateboard. Just think, when we meet back up, this business will be operational. Dirty 30, here we come. Just call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess this is it, then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now. I love this place more than anything. Franz Frogerts was my first love. But I have more to love now. Friends, Frogerts are frozen. The Frogerts are frozen. The frozen is freaking Frogerts around. <sighs> well, come on, Vot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <laughs> Yeehaw! You need a corpse to study the shard with. It's all above board. <laughs> this isn't creepy. <laughs> Remember it a joke. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was like, oh no, 
issue creep. Perhaps you'd like to hear it. How many dead orphans does it take? Uh, I'm... I'm good. I'm Dr. Anuradhadar. And I am Keeper of the Dead. You may call me Keeper for short, as we are now friends. Oh, I... Short. I was... Uh, my company was hoping to contract an asset from you. An asset? My children shall be so delighted. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should... Uh, maybe this was a bad... Nonsense! We can do business. I have many products to sell. All pristine. Now, what was the name of your company again? I shall stare at you until you answer. Better World Enterprises. Ooh, quaint. That's what we all want, yes? A better world for our lovely children. This conversation is mundane. Look, I need to buy a corpse, and you seem like the most reputable... Buy a corpse? What are you, a pervert? No, I... What? I... You said you could sell me pristine products. I make candles. You don't sell corpses? Of course not. That's creepy. Oh, and stroking a dead body and calling it your child isn't? What? I was referring to my daughters. This wretched job is putting them through college on Eden 6. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I misunderstood. Clearly. Now, please, vacate the premises. I, no, wait. I still need a corpse. It's important for my studies. And you expected I'd just sell you one? I don't know who you are to come in here and expect me to roll out different flavors of corpse like some sort of fast casual eatery, but that's not what I am about. With these corpses, I could perform experiments that will save lives. Well, if that's the case, why don't you approach a, a university or, or a hospital? I uh, did. Because? Our company is exclusively comprised of want criminals. There it is. But look, guy. Um, heal better games. You make games? My children love games. No. Seems like an odd name then. It was available. I mean, I would pay you a lot. Two million. I don't have that kind of money. That's what I said to the bank. But student loans are student loans. You seem nice enough, and I mean, it's, it's not like they're gonna mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a moment, will you? And feel free to look around. <sighs> Not ideal. Amanda and Lynn of the Dead graduated Eden Six Preparatory Academy. They're my whole world. Doesn't look like it's been digitally manipulated. Those four kids have a three lifetimes worth of student debt ahead of them. Cathode Ray Digitube. Apparently it cuts down input lag when playing Echo Sims. Huh. 
I'm trying to go pro in Turbo Punch Sibling Skirmish. Cool. Everything all right? Just, uh, readying the corpse. Please don't tell me what that means. size. The rent was too high in my fridge space. But my income level, or lack thereof, if I'm honest, is irrelevant. I challenge you to a duel. Seriously? I I'm kind of in the middle of something. Then you'll also be in the middle of losing. Now, battle! Okay, fine. One quick game. Versus Roland Vaultlander! Fight! I've been bested. It's just a matter of strategy. I'd be happy to offer tips to improve your game. Your victory is insult enough. As usual, I'm relegated to abject humiliation. I don't deserve to drink from the Plum Spice Fountain of Victory. The Plum Spiced what? I don't even deserve to dwell with the living. Close me in. Thank you. Scent of an afternoon snuggle. Oh, that's... <laughs> What's that? You checking out my candle? Uh, no, yeah, I was... Uh, how coming? I'm not stupid. Oh, it's not made of wax. Oh, okay, oh boy, oh, okay. Maybe she uses it for self-defense. It's the same length as the vertebrae in the human neck. My life circumstances have changed significantly. A good engineer works with the tools she has. <sighs> I don't think of it. I hate this. I hate this. fall seems minimal. Eyeballs and teeth all accounted for. Good as new. Except for the... everything. Sorry. You, you, sorry. Now, just ram the head onto the pike so we can turn this whole experience into another fun repressed memory. What did you say? You said good as new. What's good as new? Man! I know, right? Uh, okay. I found a corpse for you if you want to see it. See it, as in go to another room. Uh, for sure, yes. Let's leave this room immediately. <clears throat> I knew I had a spare corpse around here somewhere. I was just planning on throwing out, honestly. It's getting kind of rancid, though. I is that okay? That's perfect, actually. The more decayed, the better. Sorry about this. <gasps> hey! What are you doing? Uh, there's a contract out on your head. 
It's enough money to pay off the girl's student debt and invest in my candle company full time. Hey, I thought you water creep, says the woman thirsting for rancid corpses. Besides, I'm not the one killing you here. I'm just the one locking you in a coffin until you run out of oxygen. The coffin's the real creep here. Be mad at the coffin. <sighs> Okay. Don't panic. You're not claustrophobic. Except now that you've said it aloud, you are. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, think. Wait, the goggles. Come on, show me something. What's that? A hole, measuring 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If widened, this could provide a means to avoid capture and death by the TDOR Corporation. What? You don't talk? When did you start talking? Shadownet update illegally installed by Octavio Wallace Dar. Now, punch. Aww. Yes! Ow! No. How many more punches until I break through? Based on the strength of your punches, the coffin door will be compromised after 5,000 more punches. <laughs> Two. Slow and steady, Anu. No need to rush, because TDR will be here at any moment to capture and kill you. Just one punch at a time. <sighs> Got about 3,900 to go. <laughs> You've reached Dr. Anu Radha Dar. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, so uh, please leave a message. Your little bro has outdone himself with the HQ mission, sis. Sending you the Addy now. Hope you're having fun in your supply run. bounty on TV and I'm calling to collect. Hmm. On Dr. Dar? Yeah. Awkward nerdy lady. Dar. That's right. And she's dead? Uh, not yet. But her oxygen's sure to run out any minute now. Lovely. We've tracked your location. My mum will arrive to dispose of you. I mean dispense your rewards you shortly. Wait. What did you say? Tidior thanks you for your service. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. And really, the bit in the middle isn't too great either. But every once in a while, things aren't so bad. This is the situation our three doofuses found themselves in. After successfully pitching their uh, opposite of a gun on sink or swim, the genius, the rage monster, and the big dumb idiot had the world on a string. Well, for the most part. Anu, the competent one, intended to collect a corpse. But thanks to Susan Coldwell's bounty, Anu might find herself being the corpse she wanted to collect. Don't give me that look. You narrate next time you think you can do so much better. Four. Three. <laughs> been up to much. Just about to get murdered. It's good. Just come back when finished. Yeah, will do. 
I'll be back soon. Not to worry. It's die? You only get false confidence when... Uh, you're breaking up. I'll talk to you soon. Hundred one four hundred two four hundred three four hundred four four hundred five four thousand nine hundred ninety nine. I can't wait to reach my healing device. <sighs> hey, your boss lady said you'd be here by now. Those student loans aren't gonna pay themselves. What's the holdup? So sorry, ma'am. My platoon was diverted by civil unrest. ETA five minutes. Oh. Five minutes? Come on. Come on, just one more punch. Thousand! <laughs> Anu, strongest lady in the universe! And invincible. Oh, that felt good. Better take care of that. Still need a body. Level of deterioration, severe. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, low. Damn! I don't care if there's a war going on. I got your girl in a coffin and a, a bank account getting skinnier by the minute and... Level of deterioration, none. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, high. If she were a corpse. A scalpel. Useful for transforming people into corpses. I don't, no, 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 no. I, 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 I don't want to kill again. Really? Because the idea is growing on me. But watch it! Nothing personal! <laughs> Go, Hanu. <laughs> I guess. Wait! No! I'm not! Oh. Now this is it! You! Psycho! Bandit! Trash! I'm not. Oh, no. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so great. Analysis. The corpse is too heavy to move. Oh, no. Come on. Lift with your legs. Analysis. Your entire body would have to be made of legs. Oh. Ma'am, buzz us in! Recommendation. Oh, Run. Geez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I murdered you for no reason. Kind of. I'm sorry. Octavio, is this really necessary? Uh, and where is Fran? I have something important to tell you both. Bub, bub, bub. I, I said no peeking. Voila! Say hello to our new HQ. Do you love it? I bought it from the city's top realtor, Rhonda Fofolia. She's one of the Dirty 30. Her whole reputation is built on being nice and honest. Central location, spacious, great schools. And there's something homey and familiar about it. You bought Franz Frogut. <laughs> what? No. Yes! You bought the literal rubble of Franz Frogut. The same location you wanted us to leave. There's no way we could know for sure this is Franz Frogert. There's a big sign that says Franz Frogert. <laughs> that sign is old news. You're looking at the new headquarters of our company, which I named an awesome name that I totally remember. And that name is Global Compucore. I, <laughs> I actually like that. Right? You bought a blown-out Frogot shop. The same Frogot shop we fled, and the only difference is a custom plaque? Not the only difference. This place is full of updates. Come, look around. Updates. 
such as... Like this solarium. You can read, drink sweet tea, or just sit and enjoy the... A table under a hole. Okay. Do you smell that? Mmm. She made it smell like cookies. It always smelt like cookies. It's a Froyo shop. What about these 100% granite countertops? It's slabs of blown up granite from Tidio's attack that have been left on the counter. She said it was shabby chic. Shabby, 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 chic. Okay, fine. But, but, I haven't even told you the best part yet. I didn't need to take out a loan. I was able to pay it full. In cash, up front. You what? It took some professional gauche, uh, professional negotiation, but I got her to accept all the money we want from Sink or Swim. Since this building is ours, free and clear. <laughs> you idiotic. Oh, this already was ours before it was blown apart from an invasion. You bought it for no reason with all our capital? These are some high-level biz maneuvers. Business maneuvers. It's above your pay grade. I don't expect you to understand. I get it. You think I agreed to purchase this place right away, but I'm not an idiot, Anu. I knew friend would want to invest in some security measures, and I knew you'd want some high-tech tools to work with. So, being the amazing negotiator I am, I talked Rhonda into giving us... Into giving us what, exactly? The high-tech part sounds promising. I'm cautiously optimistic. At the very least, it could be valuable, and maybe we could sell it for a fraction of our money back. A plasma ball. Very scientific. I'm sure it'll help with your experiments. Fran was very specific about us needing an armory, so I got us a little one our foam turret! Get out! <laughs> In security, every bit helps. Get out. Uh. Yeah, I haven't seen you make that face since we were kids. You'd always make that face just before you... <laughs> Let's not go nuts here. If you were me, you'd do the same. <laughs> See? Uncle! 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 You're my sister and my uncle. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Break it up, you two. This is alone for one second, and you're at each other's throats. You are also in the place where we last saw you. Friend Octavia, have you been duped again? Yes! He spent all of our capital buying- She pulled my ear! Hard! Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm back home again, and I love these countertops. They used to be our floor! Even if Octavio spent all of our money on my shop, I have made up for it by hiring our support staff on the cheap. And by cheap, I mean nothing. Come along, Fergus! Fergus?
Free labor. Free labor. Free labor. Free labor. Free, free labor. Strangely arousing. I mean, uh, a rather fascinating human. The dancing, the free labor. He lives in a perpetual flow state, coexisting with instinct and agency. He completely bypasses the contradiction of programming. His oscillating hips are fascinating and somehow life affirming. You're just beholding the power of pure grade A sexiness. Drink it in, Brobot. Drink it in. I can read between the lines. That's Robo talk for great ass. Get your Robo claws away from him. He's mine. When I reflexively murdered that security guard, I found myself in a consciousness paradox. But you have solved it. I shall learn from you. You are my guru. Free labor. Free labor. I thought I was your guru. What an astonishingly inaccurate assessment. Him. A, a guru. Him. Sure, he's a great dancer with chisel dabs and a butt that refuses to quit. But I'm not sure he's the right fit for a startup business. Does he have any usable experience? No offense, of course. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A dancing shirtless man is always useful. You just have to think outside the box. Or on top of the box. <gasps> Marketing opportunity. He dances on top of a box. Yes! Free labor. No employees dancing on any boxes or tables. Free labor. He's working for college credit. So by taking him on, we are fulfilling his dream. Free labor. Come on, don't tell me you're going to say no to that face. For legal reasons, I'm gonna say no. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know it is. It isn't. Who died and made you queen of HR? The following HR professionals had their contracts fulfilled, by which I mean lives terminated in the past hour. Sophia Poppy, Eleonora Copsa, Harriet Lilly, Jade Dukesha. That's not what she meant. Fergus sought me out for his college's work-study intensive program. Free labor. He's majoring in libidinous business management and minoring in hot throbbing. Fran! You do know you're not trapped, right? You can leave any time. Give one thrust for yes, two for no. Free. And you... Want to work for your college course unpaid? Labor! That's it! I give up. Welcome aboard! Yes! I hope you enjoy your time at the good guys. Whoopee! Fergus, whip us up some Froyo daiquiris. Extra space room. Free labor. Free? Labor. <gasps> Ever get tired of that tush? Oh, yeah. Shake it. Seems like I'm the only one who's actually made an effort. Do either of you have any idea what I went through to bring you the... the... the nothing at all? Weren't you supposed to get, like, supplies? A corpse. Oh, wow, are we pivoting to the corpse business? Either way, I don't see a corpse, which means you screwed up just as badly as us. Worse, we actually came back with something. Didn't screw up. Well, what did you do then? Well, you're throwing around a lot of accusations, but you sure sugar are producing. I encountered unforeseen, unavoidable complications. 
You're right. I screwed up. I had to bring a dead body for organic testing material, and I failed. I failed you, I failed the company, and most of all, I failed myself. If there's anything, anything I could do to make it up to you, let me know. Well, I guess you could wax my hover chair. And make me tacos for the rest of the month? I could do it with an oil change. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter now anyway. I was weak. Hey, you couldn't bring yourself to kill somebody? That's nothing to be ashamed of. No, I definitely killed somebody. I just have no upper body strength. Or lower body. Or middle body. Oh, God. The point is, none of us accomplished anything. Is that right? Not entirely. Aru at least managed to evade the TDO patrols currently searching for her. Right before she and Octavia ran past several dozen security cameras on their way here. Wait, what now? TDR was there? The person running the morgue tried to collect on my bounty. The girl's first bounty? Aww. Free Guys, focus! If the security cams got us, we were followed. Yes, almost certainly. Maybe you were followed. But I wasn't. We were going to the same place. There's no way. Hello, Ding Dong. You're a new to Hardar. Prepare to die. Wait just a minute. Gonna be honest, Gun. You're pissing me off. And I've been trying real, real hard not to get pissed off. Don't make me do something that's going to disappoint both of us. Great bluff, Francine. Great what? Bluff. Francine's self-control is so great that even if you did murder Anu, she would not take revenge. Ignore that. I will not. We'll all cool down and let calmer heads prevail. What do you say? I am a gun. Yes, but if you pull that trigger, a couple of things are gonna happen. One, hey, if you're gonna put a bullet in someone, put it in me. I have multiple bullets! Oh my god! Oh! Congratulations! You killed my commander and I killed your doctor! We are now even, Stephen. Oh, I'll show you even. down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct. Anu's body is dead. It can be hard to accept such tragedies. <laughs> Science for the win! Anyway, I had a mission, and I completed it. 
Meanwhile, your friend is still dead. Later, losers. She's gone. She's really gone. Bye -bye. I'm here for you, big guy. I'm here. I was really starting to like her. That's it? You're just gonna let me go like that? Do I want to break you in half with my bare hands? Absolutely! But that would be a violent, spiteful act of revenge. And she wouldn't want that. So yeah. I'm letting your metal ass go, but not for you, for her. We let you down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct. Anu's body is dead. It can be hard to accept such tragedies. How are you feeling, sis? You were totally dead there for a minute. A really scary minute. I, uh, yeah. Are, are you okay? I think so. If you need mouth to mouth, just say the word. Whoa, whoa, you were totally dead there less than a minute ago. Maybe you should take it easy. No, no, I'm fine. I, <gasps> not fine at all. It's weird, I, uh, Anu? Your eyes are glowing. I feel... Wronged. Is this normality? Nothing about this is normal. Anu? Say something. Are you okay? In peril. Well, I sure as hell can fix that. Give me that piece of shit. For whatever reason, whenever Anu gets a hit of this shard's healing juice, she goes all funny. I don't know why, but I also don't care. It's been nothing but trouble since we got it. Gah! Oh! You seem to have changed the shard's energy signature, Francine. I need you as much as you need me. We... we are connected. Anu? That you, girl? We must be made whole. That's a big no. Hold up. I know what to do. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Okay, I'm out of ideas. What do we do? I'm new to alien possession, too. What would Anu do? Probably befriended. Ah, worth a shot, I guess. And if not, I have something else we can try. Uh. Hey. Hi. Uh, oh. uh, Octavio here. Um, I don't know what you're doing to my sister, but you need to let her go. Here's an idea. Leave her. Jump into me. I'm the one you really want. I'm the important one. He said unconvincingly. 
Just leave her alone, okay? She's, she's no good to you if you hurt her. You're half for the promise. We are made whole. I, I promise! <gasps> Anu! <laughs> First you were dead and then you were super possessed. This has been a real roller coaster. I didn't even get a chance to give you mouth to mouth. Unless, of course, you want some now. I mean, would it help? I am fine, uh, really. I'm sorry I blew all our money on our blown out Froyo shop. I'm sorry my intern is so sexy. And I'm sorry I got trapped by a crazy candle making morgue attendant and led Tidio straight to our door. I'm sorry I cannot identify with any of these extreme emotions. Free labor. Free labor? Free labor indeed. <sighs> Listen, I'm... Gr We've lost, like, millions of dollars overnight. True. But in the process, we found each other. Meh. Let me get real with you both for a minute. Starting a technology business? It's hard. So, so hard! hard. And we're bad at this, like really bad. Really bad. bad. We've made so many rookie mistakes. <laughs> so many. We didn't even set up a fun office culture. Like casual Friday or, or Taco Tuesday. Or make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. Oh, come on. Like I'm the only one who enjoys make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. Okay, maybe Fran's right. Fran's definitely right. You know what they say, though? The first step to being bad at business is admitting you're good at business. That doesn't make any sense. It does when you think about it. No, it still doesn't make any sense. Look, we're all beginners at this, right? Maybe we need to get some help from a veteran. Someone seasoned, successful, and already on our side. Strong Fork! The angel investor! Oh, it's a great idea. Get her on your phony decks. Already am. And it's an Echo Dex Pahone. And don't tell me what to do. Whatever. Give me the phone thingy. Howdy, howdy. You got Fran here. You can just talk normally. Fran of Franz Frogert, as I live and breathe. Heard one of them chatty TD or guns broke into your homestead and put a hole straight through Arnold's bread box. Are we revealing our device brought me back from the dead? She did invest in us. We should respect our shareholders. If Ward gets out, it goes our way. It's called controlling the nair. Narrative? Alive. Not alive. Chicken and waffles. I mean, what does it even mean to live these days? Breach. I mean, are any of us actually alive? I am not. I'm confused. Does Anu have a pulse? Yes, I do. It's 74 BPM. <laughs> Oh, whew. color may relieve y'all, <laughs> but still, I know them TDR scoundrels like the back of my horse's head. They're gonna just keep trying to kill you until, well, they kill you. What you heard on the news is true. Anu was shot in the head at close range by TDR. She died from a lack of complete head. I got better. My head is complete. You mind running that by me again, partner? You invested in us because you saw the Hippocratic Magic heal. We have since discovered, quite recently and through first-hand experimentation, that it does, in fact, revive the dead. Well, butter my biscuits, that's all kinds of interesting. But it means the target on y'all's head just got even bigger. That's why we're calling you on the Echo doodle doo Good decks. We're wondering if you could help get our business on its feet. We protect us from Tidor and other bounty hunters while we're at it. Hmm. 
Housing your enterprise is a big expense, but I didn't just invest in that Healy beam of yours. I invested in y'all. And if there's one thing I do, it's protect my investments. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're investments. That's great to hear. I think I speak for all of us when I say we very much want to stay alive. And we're grateful for your help from one business tycoon to another. I'll put y'all up in my private hacienda. It's safe there. You can continue your research, hang in the hot tub, enjoy a shiatsu massage from Abdul. Research? Hot tub? Abdul. I'm sending a car now. See y'all in a jiffy. High five time. High five time. We need you to stay here and do whatever you can to clean this place up. Free labor. They do that sometimes. You'll get used to it. Welcome to my hacienda. Mi hacienda is si hacienda, okay? <laughs> Make yourselves at home. Um. Is the hacienda you? Oh, no! Y'all have to forgive me. I know it's rude not to give you a big old warm welcome face to face, but you got here just in time for a real special hoot nanny was happening this very night. I'm hosting a bit of a fet or partido, if you will, and you are, of course, all invited. A party? With... People? Party, eh? What are you celebrating? Well, holy the fact that three people have invented a technology that will change the whole gosh darn world forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I think that's worth a little celebrating, don't you? Yes. Uh, thank you for, um, believing in our vision. I mean, the party is a cool, too, a very, very fun surprise. <laughs> Not at all anxiety-inducing. I love people and being the center of attention and... What my sister means to say is that we look forward to raging with you. <laughs> is this a black tie sort of deal or more of a rough and tumble affair? Oh, no. Look at us. We look like we woke up in graves this morning. I mean, to be fair, some of us more or less did... We are definitely not party ready. I mean, I'm never party ready, but... I think what Anu is saying is we didn't really have time to change before we arrived. Oh, no need to worry. You'll find my guests are an eclectic bunch from an array of backgrounds, and they're all eager to meet you. To meet... us? You hear that gang? We're people worth meeting! Gang? People. <sighs> The party will start in just a few wee hours, and I so look forward to meeting y'all in person when it kicks off. Until then, I went and took the liberty to arrange some pleasant diversions for each of you that I hope you will find to your liking. I'll leave you in the hands of my capable assistant. What about Louis? Do you have something special for him to do? Yeah, what about Louie? He's part of our team. What? He's grown on me. I have not. I remain unattached from your person. See? Charming. I would never overlook such a fine piece of machinery. L0U13, you find an outlet on the wall, it's quite special. It will plug you into an AI-only server where you can, how to put this, exchange data with other consenting intelligences. I'm talking multiple data packets. I do enjoy the exchange of data. Cool, bud. You, uh, you enjoy that. Oh, my. That's very good. Mr. Wallace Dar, please, 
Follow me. Miss Miskowitz and Dr. Dar, I will be with you momentarily. Octavio! You, 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 you're... Bivington Bradwick. No way. Yes way. No way! Bivington Bradwick. Yeah, I... Yes. It's really me. From Forge's super successful Dirty 30? Yes, well done, Octavio. But, you know, I'm not the only person here associated with that vaunted list. You are too. <laughs> That's right, you are one of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. How does it feel? <laughs> this is a dream come true. I feel so fudging validated right now. Fudge, yes. Even more validation. Thank you, Vivington Bradwick. I love you. Yeah. Bro, it makes me look like an ugly, gawky baby. I mean, look at me, for real. In real life, I'm a fit, strapping young man about time. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Come on. Honestly, I'll speak to the photographer. Oh, right. I almost forgot. This is for you. It grants you access to the Dirty 30 VIP room. Dirty 30 members only. It's crazy. <laughs> So, where is the old angel investor? Would love to party with her in chat, you know? One business tight into another. Oh, the angel investor isn't here. She unwinds in more private circles. More private than this? Relax. Okay, can I offer you an overpriced drink? You seem like a man of taste. Maybe something from the booze loop. <laughs> <laughs> Only select members from the VIP section can partake from the booze luge. It's called a booze luge for a reason. Slide down some booze! Never say no to a taco. You want tacos? Like some sort of non-VIP plebeian? Okay. I mean, why not? You're the man of the hour after all. We'll have a taco luge. Just this once. something? More hot sauce. Guys, I think he wants more hot sauce. <sighs> I'm a not choking VIP! <laughs> 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 
Captain, this is amazing. I gotta go find Anu and friends so they can try the booze loose. Octavio, my new best friend. Can I be real with you for a minute? Always, Bivington Bradway. Always. These diversions are for you, the real VIP. Anu and Fran are being well taken care of, I assure you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the success you earned. You're sure they're having a good time too? Oh, absolutely positive. Dar, at last! It's so great to meet you. Come on in, please. I've been dying to show you the space. Huh? Say hello to your new home away from home. Please, I'm working under you. No oversight and no deadlines. Not to be just like super on the nose about it, but frankly, this is any scientist's dream come true. When you say, I would have a team... You would be the only head of the only department in this little think tank. This is your show, Doctor. <laughs> Seriously, this is perfect. It's like you picked this lab right out from one of my dreams. But... I couldn't possibly take this lab. I have my own company and a project I'm working on, and Octavio and Fran need me, and... Okay. I understand. It's a real shame, though, because we have some problems, which, if you solve them, would change all of science. Probably even the world. Forever. Like... The type of problem where they'd name an equation after me? Equations? <laughs> More like planets. Well, that's okay. You are a busy woman with things to do. I suppose I have a few minutes. I could take a quick peek. So no deadlines? Just timelines? We know better than to try and rush genius, Dr. Dar. But... but... We find putting hard deadlines on complicated projects really just results in creating anxiety where none needs to be. No. No anxiety? Not here, Dr. Dar. Not here. <gasps> ah, I love a well-educated cylinder. Get it? Because it's a graduated cylinder? <laughs> oh, good one, Anu. <laughs> An incredibly good one indeed. Let's, let's scan this setup and see what else we can see, shall we? I've identified the issue, but I can see how you missed it. This fluid is not pH balanced for the reaction you're attempting to achieve. It just needs a little more... base. <laughs> I said it needs a little more base. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Where do they keep their alkalis? What's this then? It's a code we've found. We're positive it has something to do with iridium energy conversion, but we haven't been able to crack it. Hmm. Hmm. There's no cipher for this code in the database. If I had more texts to work with, I'm positive I could crack the code and translate it. <laughs> no way. No way. Is that... A Voltlander's figurine of Maya in her limited edition cloak of Athena's. <laughs> Maya. Maya. Maya, 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 Maya. Maya. 
<clears throat> I could take you. <laughs> Should I take you? I want to take you. I can't take you. But someone else could take you. It'd be wrong to take you. I'm gonna take you. <clears throat> I took you. Can you tell me what this is? Congripulizer. Congripulizer is meant to do... Of course! You're gonna love this. We based it on the research in your dissertation. So good, by the way. So basically, the Congripulizer accelerates structures at chill temperatures of 218 degrees below Kelvin, which facilitate an electromagnetic pulse in a complete vacuum, thereby ionizing the space into a quantum field that raises the temperature half a degree before lowering it again, allowing iridium waves to vibrate in a delta pattern. But it's... Not working. Right, and my dissertation... Posited numerous theories, but no solutions. We thought we'd cracked it, but it's... Not working. Nothing a genius like you can't fix, I'm sure. Hey there, fella. I'm sorry you're here. You shouldn't be. You should be able to live and play and eat and pee out in the wild as nature intended. Wait. That's it. Jabber pee. Jabber pee is an alkali. <laughs> According to these readings, you are full to bursting with urine. Fantastic! <laughs> Nervous Pierre? Me too. Sometimes, all it takes is a little soothing music. Perhaps some soothing music would help the jabber to relax and fall into a flow state. And by flow state, I mean pee. Maybe he could pee. Lo-fi beats that you could take a leak to. There really is a station for everything these days. Hm. There you go. Some nice, relaxing music. Oh no. Still feeling shy? Thank you. See? This is what I've been saying all along. Nature provides us a solution to so many problems. No one blinks twice at the idea of shooting someone, but ask them to handle a little jabber urine and their worldview shatters. I mean, look! Look at what science can achieve! Now, uh, what did you need this for again? It's for hair growth. Try some. I'll pass. But thank you. No. Fancy machine, not functional. Yeah, I know, but why? Scanning. No idea. <sighs> huh. Maybe I can review the work they've done on it so far. <laughs> Secrets of science kept secret, eh? It's written in the same code that's on the whiteboard. <gasps> Surely there's enough text here to crack the code if I use my tech goggles to analyze it. Decrypting weird code. <gasps> Cipher unlocked. You're welcome. Hmm. Now that I have the code, I can translate the whiteboard. <gasps> yes! Plus one point for Anu's genius! You cracked the code! We've been stumped on that one for weeks. What does the message say? Don't cross the streams. <gasps> Don't cross the streams. That seems like pretty life-altering advice. Oh, I've identified the issue. You've 
You've crossed the streams. If we are across them, <laughs> should be all working now. Oh, so close, but no. When you've exhausted all other options, sometimes it's best to just get physical. <gasps> Ta-da! One working kombucha-lizer. <sighs> you... you've done it! We've been struggling with these problems for weeks on end, and you... Solve them! All of them! In one day! That's... wow! That is... wow! Well, I... You know, sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes. <laughs> one question, though. I understand the connection between the code and the congripulizer, but... How does the jabber urine factor in? Oh, it didn't. Okay. All right. Ha ha ha! Three cheers for Dr. Dar! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Fran. Rita? In the flesh. How are your sisters doing, Rita? I'm sure you've heard Rhonda made it to Forge's Dirty 30 this year. And Reva, well, I think her jealousy got the better of her. I haven't heard from her since the magazine came out. She's probably cooling off somewhere. You know how she is. Such a drama queen. Ugh. Yeah. Yep to all that. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm here to talk about the future. Okay. And the future is the Franz Frogert franchise. You want to turn my Frogert shop into a franchise? Yes. The company I represent is willing to invest several trillion dollars to convert what was once your humble little shop into a galaxy-wide empire. And the cherry on top? A five billion dollar signing bonus. All for you. Five billion dollars? That's almost six billion dollars. Go ahead, take her for a spin. Make yourself a cup of Frogurt. We paid careful attention to your signature flavor profiles. You're gonna love it. See for yourself. Okay. Let's see how you did with my chocolate dill pickle. Well, I better collect all the dough in this place. I am Fran of Fran's Frogurt's after all. Make it rain! Hey, now. Oh, even better than cash. What the? How did you even get this picture? Ooh, corporate fat cats keep their loot in places like this. <clears throat> Care for a duel in a thrilling trial of Falklanders? Ah, crap. Okay, Tiny, let's go. <laughs> Your jest is hollow. For I am not Tiny. 
Unless you're referring to my genitals, which I lost in a buzzsaw accident. Don't care. Let's go. Bad versus Brick! Vaultlanders! Fight! Wow, I'm new to this. Either I'm really good, or you suck. Both. Wait. Oh. Good boy. Dude in a trunk with no junk. Where's my big hole? I don't know how to answer that. I hate these newfangled. I'm Foopy. It looks like you're trying to pour yogurt. Do you need a foopin' hand? No. Your Frogurt machine requires routine maintenance. Foop on over to the back room. Boop, boop. For cry out loud, is everything broken here? Boop. The only thing broken is you. What? What? The maintenance door only foops to foopers with pure hearts. Even the tiniest fooplet knows the secret ingredient to Froger is feelings. To enter, you have to confide your deepest, sincere foopy feelings. Uh. <laughs> uh. I do not use that mode anymore. Someone is repressing a traumatic memory. Would you like a foop in hand? No! That's a foop in shame. You know our policy. If you want to repair, you gotta share. I can share. You want me to share something personal? Something personal. I never got to pork Anu. Oh, those nerdy types. Ha! You know, they're just a freak between the sheets. Something personal. Hmm. Something personal. I never got to pork Octavio. That tall stack of man meat. You're avoiding your true feelings. That foop's my fooping foop. Wait, hold on. I can do it. I... I... You can't just foop a suppressed memory from thin air. You have to be relaxed. Gently foop it from your mind. I'd like to foop you from my mind. Why don't you do some chores around your store? This place could use fooping up, and the activity is sure to give your memory a foop in the pants. <laughs> Live in this place up with some tunes. Please poop a selection. Pump it up, Promethea. Uh, 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 uh. That's not what I fooped. That's not what I fooped. Like that. 
Like what? You look like food. Total food. A thick, steaming pile of food. All right. I'll freshen up. Fantastic. Please boop your food. <laughs> no, not a chance. Nice try! It's hot glue to your skull. Wash my hands, huh? Thanks, Mother. Yeah, one of those fancy schmancy zen fountains. <gasps> Namaste. I don't know how you're doing this, but... Something's coming out. <sighs> All right. I'm ready to share. Whoopee! I'm all poops. We were on a trip for field day. A holiday where kids gather to go look at a field. I saw a group of bullies going to town on a poor defenseless spider ant. And if there's one thing I hate, it's bullies. What did you do? What I always did. I got mad. Only this time, I wasn't just mad. This time, I was so angry, I activated my hover chair's mecha mode. In hindsight, it was a smidge of an overreaction. But once I had those bullies in my sight, the rage, it carried me inexorably towards a conclusion I didn't yet know to dread. Caught up in my anger, I launched my a mecha rocket freeze punch. Ooh, me. Did they survive? Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. It was a strong weapon. And I'm gonna tell you what it is. Mecha Centripetal Force Typhoon! Ooh, me! Did they survive? Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. In fact, it sort of set off what I'd later call my big murder whoopsie. I hit those suckers so hard they're flying through the air, already dead, and they hit a nearby sitting tank of field gas. What's field gas? Gas for the field. The better question is, what was it doing sitting there full that afternoon when the field should have been gassed up already? Anyways, these guys hit the tank, and it's a small explosion. More people died. And they weren't even bullies. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I saw the answer. It was so obvious, right in front of my face, surrounded by other possible options. Hey, water park! But instead of putting out the fire like it was Mecha Ballistic Freeze Ball Bomb. The water tower! But instead of putting out the fire like it was supposed to do, it just made things worse. <gasps> A good old fashioned mecha headbutt! To tell you the truth, I was invigorated. Sure, it was a calamity. But it was my calamity. I had endorphins going. I could do anything, all because I got really, really mad. Things and train station and passing train around the field all went up. 
more lives lost. I was just trying to help. I would call this my somewhat bigger murder whoopsie. First the bullies, then the field gas explosion. Now I'd been betrayed by water? There was just so much destruction, so much death. I was trapped in a cyclone of emotions. But what I felt most, honestly, weirdly turned on. Anyway, that's how I learned at a young age a painful truth. I am a monster. My inability to control my anger resulted in unimaginable destruction and death. I vowed then and there never to use mecha mode again, but of course that vow wasn't enough to save me from the worst punishment Promethea can lay on a person. Compulsory anger management. Now that's a foopin' feeling! That's the key to Fran's family-friendly feeling foopin' Froger's! You've shared. Now, you can repair... Milking pump malfunction. Milking pump malfunction. No! <laughs> Milking pump malfunction. What have they done to you? Restart milk pump or milk provider will be terminated. I gotta milk you with that machine. Remember to poop it with a smile. Unholy evils that dwell in this Frogurt. It's delicious, right? So, are you in or are you out? Take your time, about 10 seconds worth of it. This was a trap. To emotionally devastate you, yes! <laughs> and it worked! <laughs> so does my freeze ray. I'll think it over. That's fine. If you'll follow me, we've set up a lounge, expressly for the overthinking of things. Speaking of overthinking, I gotta find Anu. Where the hell did she get off to? I'm sure she'll catch up if you could just follow me. Nah. I'd be happy to provide you with a security escort. Nah. So, Globo CompuCore. Was that all your idea? Whatever you say will be immortalized in your super successful Dirty 30 profile. I had some help. <laughs> Just a nerdy sister and an angry woman in a haver chair. Co-founders. Co-founders? <laughs> That's a strong word. 
but yeah, they're they're co-founders. <laughs> hey yo! None of it was me. On who created the device, Fran figured out the healing properties. You're basically a fraud who gets by purely on false confidence and swag. <laughs> <laughs> Head to the VVIP section. <laughs> There's a VVIP section? Here. Yes, the more successful you are, the weirdest stuff you're into. <laughs> no, Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. <sighs> Care to stick your face in the belcher? An elite courtesy from the angel investor. Only 11 people in the world have enjoyed mouth gas from the Belcher. You know what they say about peer pressure. Always follow it! <laughs> oh yeah! I'm not that into drugs. Especially from amphibians I don't recognize. Strange. And all this time I thought you were cool. I mean, you are cool, aren't you, Octavio? I don't know if the angel investor would deign to meet someone who isn't cool. <laughs> Damn. Bivity Bipster! <laughs> I'm so cool that I'm above peer pressure. Why? Because I have no peers. My coolness is without equal. That's how cool I am. That's astronomically cool! Oh, -ho. sheesh. I still wish Onu and Fran were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Onu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. You did it. You actually did it. Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is you did it without using the potassium magnesium channels. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put, You've changed science forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dar, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. She's heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> She's in the observation room. Is the observation room comfortable? 
You tricked me! Wow! Another thing you figured out, Dr. Dar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll get right on that. You're not doing anything. You put me in a cage. <laughs> Amazing! Dr. Dar figured it out. <laughs> okay. I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. <laughs> Are you taking me? Huh? You, you, bullies! You're all bullies! <laughs> Stop applauding! It's patronizing! <laughs> Woo! This party is hot! I should take my shirt off. Or we could go to the VVVIP room. The VVVIP room? Welcome to the VV VIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. Party, party, party! Party, party, party! <laughs> oh, that's some serious high-level CEO partying. Right? I feel myself recouping my energy. When do I get out of here? Oh, let our staff worry about that. Oh, <laughs> sweet! <laughs> This isn't a VV VIP elite gold status lounge. This is a cage! <laughs> An exclusive cage. No! A cage cage! You tricked me! Don't think of it as tricked. In the business world, we... Well, <laughs> we also call it tricked. <sighs> is this because I didn't do the belcher? It certainly didn't help your case. But no, no, you were always going to end up here, Octavio. Let me out! Let me out! Anyone? Please help me! He tricked me! I'm a super successful Dirty 30! Ak? Anu? Oh, yes. Right there. Put your data right there. Me here. Inconsequential. I'm here now. It doesn't matter that you and your friends humiliated me in a store. It doesn't matter that I was fired for playing Faultlanders. If you have any hope of freeing your little friend, you must first defeat me. I'd prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't ask. Now, battle! Kosken. Damn it, anyway. Come here. <gasps> Versus Moe's Vault Landers. Fight! <laughs> I won. Wait. I won! Who's the best Vaultlander competitor in the galaxy, friend? Yes! Eat it, you teeth, you're trash! You can't have won. I was depending on this. I needed that W! Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you. 
Just food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Thanks. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? Yeah, I hope not. I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. Why did you do that? I was... happy. A smorgasbord of sensations. It was true bliss. Let me try that sex port thing. No, you broke it. It is no longer functioning. Oh, I've heard that before. You'd be surprised what I can do. Ooh, maybe not. What happened while I was diverted? Oh, I relived my suppressed life-defining trauma and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant. To make yogurt. From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. Louis, no. No? Getting your fizz whistled isn't happy. It walks like happy, it talks like happy, you think if you drown in it, your lungs would be filled with happy. But that ain't how it works. I am willing to find out. Lou, Louis. Out of all the people you know, who has the highest likelihood of having their Conroy bumpest the most? Francine Miskowitz. And who's the unhappiest person you know? Anu. Second unhappiest. Octavia. Third. Francine Miskowitz. There you go. Come on! What's up? Octavio, you too. We've got to get out of here. We've got to think of something, some way to break out. Or we could wait here for Fran. She could break these cages, no problem. Come on, Octavio. Stop waiting around for other people to solve your problems and start trying to solve them yourself. This is all part of my plan. In a few moments, I'm springing myself out of here. How? I, I said it's part of the plan. I don't have the other part yet. Dumb! 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 So dumb! Okay, I admit I partied a little hard, but that's to be expected. I made Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Oh my god. Don't you get it? You didn't make that stupid list. It's just one more scam you fell for because reality won't enter your thick skull. That's why you're sitting in a cage. You never think things through, Octavio. I'll try to hack into what data exchange Louis connected to and tell him we need help. Any luck? There's a new update for the Echo Dex. I don't get it. Me! I don't get it! Look at yourself, Anu. We're in the same situation. Except I'm not trying to make my sibling look like an idiot. So who's the idiot now, huh? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone who also got trapped in a cage! Listen, I... There you idiots are! Leave you alone for ten minutes, and you both get caught by TDR? <laughs> you don't have to freeze. You're not a threat. You two, drop your weapons! Loud and fast-like! I mean, soft and slow-like! Lou, you always mess that up. Not now. Please, don't undermine me in front of the targets. Don't listen to them. You can take them. Shut up! Shutting up. Hey, I'm a threat. I may be stuck here, but not for long.
Give me a minute. My entire body is a weapon. Then drop it! As you wish. Oi! Is that a weapon? No. no. Drop it anyway! Drop it! Exactly as easy as I expected it to be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Aww, cute. Doesn't make a difference. You get over here and I'll put my fist through your. <laughs> the company that made your chair? I acquired it ages ago, and I can control it. Any way I please. And you can make the chair do fart noises. Hey, hey you want to talk to the guy in charge? I'm right here. <laughs> Here's how it is. Do as I say, or you, and obviously they, die. Now, the device, please. Oh, I won't be asking again, obviously. Make all the threats you want. You'll never... You have a gun. I have a gun. Now, device on the ground. Hands up. Die. Now, the device, please. No. Anu, what are you doing? Just don't hurt anyone. Well, even if I do, now I've got the gun to fix it. It's not. When spoken to, dear. An intelligent decision. Didn't think you three were capable. Anu, what are you doing? She's the bad guy. You don't give the gun to the bad guy. Device! Intelligence doesn't run in the family, apparently. Hey, who are you calling a family? I'll also be taking your Echo Dex. Never! What's next? You're gonna break Louie? Why would you even say that? No need. I think your robot friend will discover he left that little melding of the minds with some dirty data packets. Now that you mention it, some of the data I just exchanged was unscrupulous. It was all unprotected. They even used my back port. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm riddled with STDs. Software transmitted diseases. I need a moment to run diagnostics and swab my system. Really swab my system. Louis! This is your plan? Lock us in cages and hurt our feelings and give us diseases and uh, steal our invention and what? Mass produce it? That's not gonna work. We own the patent. <laughs> okay. You can laugh, but our investor isn't going to be too happy about this. The mystery caller who jumped in to bail us out of sink or swim has our backs. We may not know who they are exactly, but they're somewhere around here. And anyone that could just drop a few billion on us out of the blue, quite obviously, has a lot of resources and should not be crossed. And I'm just now realizing it's you. It's you're, you're the angel investor. And there it is. Well, golly. Sure would be nuts if I just fought myself a rich to hit translator and funded my own competition. <laughs> Yuck. Wait. That box is the angel investor? Wow. Here's what happens now. Anu, 
You're coming with me. Kill the others. Ah! Kill the himbo last. He means the most to her. Wait, wait, wait. If you lay a hand on them, I won't tell you anything about the shard. What makes you think I need you? Well, see, my stake. <laughs> what makes a cowpoke like you think a gunslinger like me's got any more use for you than a grizzly bear's got for a unicycle in a river rapid? Ugh. I thought we fixed this auto-translate. The UI team is gonna pay for this. See? You don't even understand your own Echo Dex. You don't have a chance with the Shard without me. If they die, I won't tell you a thing. You'll be stuck. Hmm. No! You can't! Oh, good. Now this can be a lesson in never telling me what to do. <laughs> Now y'all get to learn yourself something about bossing the big cowgirl around, you hear? Stupid app. I thought UI fixed this. You! Remind me to terminate someone in UI later. Please, I... You have all the power here. I'm not negotiating. I'm not threatening. I'm asking. Please, don't do this! Oh. Your lack of shame is endearing. As is your sentimentality. Taxing, but endearing. It's going to kill them. You don't think so? Oh, shucks. Y'all trying to cause my blood? Damn. Stupid auto-translate. You, um, need me to understand the device. A and you know, or I know, or we both know, if they die, I won't tell you a thing. So, yeah. Call. Hmm. <sighs> Actually, <laughs> never mind. No, I've just thought of a much better use for them. You've just earned yourselves front row seats to the hottest show in town. <laughs> Men, raise the curtain. It's showtime. so many familiar faces here today. Shut up! Wainwright, Reese, Torg, Karagawa Sr., Athena. Ah, oh, undoubtedly it was your communal sense of self-preservation that motivated you to be here this evening. Well, that and the fact that none of you would let the others get the competitive edge. But now, you ask yourselves, why am I here? And the answer is... A demonstration? <laughs> oh, I have gathered you together for a mercifully one-night-only opportunity. To merge with Tidior, or face your swift and utter annihilation. <laughs> See, since the beginning of civilization, we have pioneered ways to hurt one another. From the stick to the stone, to the stick with a stone tied to the end of it, and onward throughout the ages, to the laser sploder, the rebel yell, and who can forget? The iconic face melter. Hmm? <laughs> Each one a rung on the ladder toward power, a ladder that we all race to climb. But thanks to the research efforts of Tidior and a few very gracious volunteers, <laughs> bring me the buffoon. One. Ah. Uh. to see ya! How's it going? Got a new power suit? Hey, Reese. Hey, Honu, it's your old boss. Let's, uh, network after this. Synergize. Talk through some new wind bops. That's investment opportunities. Look, Chief, you!
Gotta tell ya, not getting the best vibe from this being trapped on stage thing. Let us go! It's the show? Unthinkable! <laughs> this woman doesn't know what she's tampering with! We can take her together! I, I have a company too! <laughs> See, something that they know that apparently you don't? A CEO only barters from a position of strength. I might interject to elaborate on a point. Yes? Let us go! Ooh. Huh. Uh. You've been looking for me all over the city. Now you have me. Let them go and I'll... I'll tell you whatever you need. Hmm. Now, earlier, I might have taken you up on that offer, but now, well, I have everything I need. <laughs> now, you may be aware of what the less imaginative among you have been calling green iridium. You've also likely heard by now that my pursuit of it is the entire reason for my invasion of Atlas and this planet. That shard before you is a crystal of such extreme rarity that only a privileged few have ever viewed with their own eyes. Well, at least until Dr. Dar showcased it and its incredible healing properties to the entire planet while begging for money on sink or swim. Begging? Like, no. But what Dr. Dar did not know was that the shard that she and her team of imbeciles had acquired was in fact the missing half of a true you. A second shard? This seems, and stop me if I'm being pessimistic, but not great. They're a set? Did we know they came in a set? Are they worth more money in a set? <laughs> so much more. Hmm. And what the good doctor didn't show you, perhaps because she had no idea, was that the power of these shards can be wielded in more ways than one. Dangerous, yes? Don't worry, in line with her recent groundbreaking research with Iridium. Uh, work that the world's biggest idiot discarded. Um, despite how loud that mustache is reached, this most magnificent healing power with a simple, classic ray gun. Oh, we have her device here. The Hippocratic something or other. Doesn't matter. We'll be changing it soon. Hmm. Hmm. Quaint, isn't it? Who'd have thought that the idiot CEO of Alice would overlook and cancel such a quaint little ray gun? Louis! Wake up and kill her! Bad luck. He won't be firing a shot anytime soon. I bested you, Anu. I've been one step ahead all along. I own you now, quite literally. So be a pet and cooperate. Our device! It's a ray device! Sorry. You're right. Ray device. Thank you. Uh huh. It's made from found materials. It's not quaint. It's eco friendly. And in my opinion, that makes it really dope. Point taken. This dope device. It's not all my discovery. It was a group effort with my teammates, Octavio, Fran, and Luke. You're not doing us any favors here, Chief. This device harnesses, concentrates, and amplifies the shard's effects. Now, thanks to some experiments in our lab earlier, Dr. Dar helped us iterate on the idea a bit. Now, as I begin this demonstration, it is vital that you keep this back at the front of your minds. Tidior is in possession of the only two extant Anahadium shards in existence. Oh. oh, I deny my esteemed competition the demonstration that I promised them? Meh. I don't think so. <laughs> As you are about to witness, the race to the top is over. I won! 
<laughs> now you have two choices. You can posture uselessly until I raise your company to the ground and strike your names from the history books, or B, accept defeat, merge your companies with TDR, keep your lives, and call me boss. Hmm? Go on, call me boss. <laughs> Go to hell! Scathing. Who's the boss? Suck it, Granny. I killed him. Anyone could have killed him. But he didn't give me what I wanted. Hmm. makes it simple to save a life. But the other makes killing on a, on a massive scale as easy as breathing. <laughs> See, with this simple process of rinse and repeat, you can, in fact, do far more than simply kill. You can obliterate even the most defiant spirit. Now, who's the boss? You're the boss. <laughs> and that is what I'm selling. God, forget about death. Death is so easy, so passe. I am marketing total, absolute submission. God, with these shards, I can take a city, a civilization, an entire planet, and bend it to its knees. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, Chief. What is this? The shards! We're persuading the shards! Criminals. Plunderers. Murderers! Put her down! My twin suffers. 
Holy... Froyo. Our other half. Kill them all or face permanent termination! Ah! Here's an experiment. Let's turn Dr. Dar's healing device into a harming device. Hmm? Put Dr. Dar in the lab, put her idiot brother in a cell as leverage. As for the others? Incinerate them. Uh, do you mean that literally? Yeah, or, or is it like a poetic license? I do not care. That is the point, you incompetent buffoons. They are not worth my consideration. Just kill them. Yeah. All great stories must come to an end. And this one, uh, it's filled with blood, bullets, death, heartache, and a smidge of redemption. Like one big old lasagna from hell. It's not looking good for our heroes, who had each been fooled and seduced from their own egos. The Dingus fancied himself a celebrity. The nerd believed she was saving the world with all her science. And the rage monster finally dealt with her. What's the clinical phrase? Old crap. Too late, they discovered there's no such thing as a free lunch or a multi-million dollar investment from a mysterious benefactor. Coldwell had them and the whole world in her clutches. The Rage Monster, set for execution. The Dingus, imprisoned and out of Echodex service. The Nerd, dissected and discarded. And Promethea, the first target in Tedior's gambit for galactic takeover. What can I say? Fate has no patience for character arcs. And sometimes, the people with the alien-powered superweapons intent on destroying the world win. Not every great story has a happy ending. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the lasagna.
Fong! Beautiful Fong! I'm so happy to see you. How did I get back in Atlas? Did Reese put you up to this? Aww, cute little jabber. This lab's your whole world, isn't it? I am not a jabber. I'm a scientist with a degree and books. I think someone needs to be tickled. Fong, no, I do not need to be tick tickly 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 too. <laughs> It's a tickle train. Choo choo. <laughs> I've evaded your probing tickles. Hey, don't be scared, little jabber. I'm not. Okay. I'm a little scared. Can we just stop and discuss this like adults? Ah, oh, cute little jabber thinks she's talking. I am talking. 24 hours. 24 hours to make this work. Wait. I remember this. This was the day... Something is very wrong. The short's power is messing with... I think someone needs to be tickled. Fong, no, I do not need to be tick... Tickly, 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 too. <laughs> it's a tickle train. Choo-choo. <laughs> Stop it! Cease the tickling. Uh, as your senior, I demand you. <laughs> you win. I submit. Uh, <laughs> I needed a miracle, and I don't even believe in miracles. I leave for a minute and you're fooling around? Completely useless. Ah, is that really what I said to her? It's not what you said, but it is how you sounded. What's the difference? That's the right question, but not for me to answer. After all, this is your mind laid bare. What, I wonder, are you trying to show yourself? Why? Why are you... D ...was on the brink of failing. And I've never failed at anything. Ever. Want to go back to normal. My reality, right now. Then take us there. This construct is one of your own making. What do you mean? I don't have time for this. None of this makes any sense. Consider, Dr. Dar, that the answers you are seeking lie outside the bounds of what is logical. My friends are in trouble. I have to get back to them immediately. Octavio, he's hurt. I have to get back to him. No! Come back! What the hell is a jabber doing in my lab? You know my feelings on animal testing. Release it! I tried, but this one keeps coming back. I think it loves to work the wheel. You're free to go, Jabber. I'm not a Jabber. I'm you. Metaphysically. But if we work together, we can... You're right. She does want to work the wheel. Let's begin. Before we do, I thought we could grab dinner in the mess hall first. Take a break. I don't know. Talk about non-work stuff. I'm sort of having a hard time. Exactly right, Fong. We've wasted enough time. Start it up. You weren't really listening to her.
Signal moderate, temperature delta 10 degrees, power shift 2 joules. Not good enough. I need an equilibrium. Increase speed. Before we do, can I... I am pitching tomorrow. I know. Increase speed. You could do things differently. Stop. Listen. Well, what's the output? Signal holding. Temperature delta 7.8. Power shift 1.6. Getting there, but not nearly enough. Triple it. Surely it's close. Close? You don't get a breakthrough with close. You don't impress Reese with close. I really need to go home early. I'm feeling really burnt out. If we could just pause, just for a second. What did I just say? We're not leaving this lab until I see perfect results or the jabber stop running. <sighs> Increasing speed. You're only running from yourself at this point. Are you so afraid to confront your mistakes? She isn't working. Uh, why won't she work? Anu. My mother. Today is the first anniversary of her passing. Oh, Fong. I had no idea. I had no idea. This isn't how you acted back then. You got so obsessed with changing the world, you've lost sight of everything. Everyone else. What good is saving the world if you stopped caring about the people in it? I'm sorry, Fong. What is all this? Some kind of twisted test? Why are you doing this? Our consciousnesses are joined, that much is true. I have been with you ever since we first connected to my Iridian prison, but this... You are doing this to yourself. It's... Fascinating. Why me? Because you can't do it to anyone else. No, I mean... Why me? Why did you connect with me? Ah... Something about your nervous system makes you very compatible. It could be your desire to heal the world. A thirst for justice. The fact you harbor an ancient wound doesn't matter. I'm not looking a gift host in the mouth. You are my opportunity to survive and reconnect. I must take it. If I'm a host, that makes you a parasite. That is cruel and hurtful. And I'm an ascended being. I'm above this. I'm above this. You s we both want justice. I guess that makes us buddy cops. No, it does not make us buddy cops. You got it, partner. Don't call me that. That's a big 10-4. You, you care about the world? I care. Maybe not about this world specifically, but I care in a general sense. You said I'm doing this to myself? Yes. I've healed you physically over and over. Now you seem to be channeling my energy inward. But... why would I...? <coughs> you alive? I can poke you with an electrified stick, but you could just tell me. Well, that's very rude, but also sufficient. Why does it matter if I'm alive? Don't ask me the deep questions. I'm just a guard. All I know is that I'm supposed to log on my timesheet whether or not you're alive and which day you stop being alive. And today, you're alive. Whoopee. Alive. Dead. Alive. Dead again. Alive again. Dead again. Again. Alive! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. That was a hell of a demonstration. 
You don't have to uh, talk about it. Nothing to talk about. Good. You know what the worst part of it is? Uh, no. I don't actually care. I mean, I feel like you're under the impression I do. That, that, that's, that was a mistake. A terrible mistake. That I just keep getting my ass kicked, man. I mean, not like literally, like physically, but like, yeah. Uh, it, all, yeah, literally getting my ass kicked also, a lot. And like, Fran, she can just wham, pow her way out of anything. She's unstoppable, you know? And I'm just like, I'm, I'm not. That I just keep walking into it, pitfall after pitfall after, like Anu. She's so smart. She's always been so smart. And I thought, you know, I thought I was smart in a different way, a more useful way even, but I'm not. I'm stupid. But that's uh, all in the past, right? You gotta stay present, uh, mindful. How do you feel now? I'm totally full of scud. I talk a big game, but at the end of the day, I'm a nobody. I'm the opposite of a VIP. I'm a PIV! A PIV? A person of insignificant value. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, this is not what I was expecting from this shift. I sort of thought you'd be like all the other prisoners, you know, trying to finagle your way out of here, or to bribe me, or... Uh, what are you doing? Okay, wow, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. Well, uh, I'm gonna find something else to do. Um, pee. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go pee. Any specifics as to the method of dispatch, ma'am? What? No! Never call me directly again. Sorry. Can I, can I text? No! Bollocks. Hope you're not expecting this to be quick. You killed a lot of our friends. You don't even remember doing it, do you? Figures. Well, you'll be joining your friends soon enough. In hell! How dare you? How dare you? They are in heaven! If dogs... <laughs> wow. You're not taking this seriously enough. You murdered our friends. And now you're going to die. Stop it! You're ruining this for me. Oh, boo-hoo. Somebody killed my friends. You gonna cry about it? No. You sound as though you may cry about it. I'm not gonna cry about it. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not a big baby? Shut up! Ah, big baby. Confirmed. Whatever. Shut up. You're gonna be so executed. Ta-da! Had it built in case you fell for the little investment offer. Now you get to die here. Ain't it fun? That's right. Drink it in. I don't know. Seems like there are worse places to die. Gonna be real awkward when you're the ones lying dead in a fake Froyo shop. <laughs> That's cute. Almost sounds like you believe yourself. The hell's that? Fran, I'm here to rescue you. Uh, no. I saw them take this off you. I managed to sneak it out. Catch! Reba told me.
told me you're a tough cookie, and we are two women of steel who need to stick together. So I'm here to help you escape. You can actually use that chip thingy, right? It appears you're about to die. Would you like me to notify your error? Loved ones not found. No, not, not unless I can judge these guys to death. Oh, I thought it was like a grenade. Nah. Grenade. Nah. No. <sighs> It's a TDO, hover chair, remember? CEO Coldwell sent us all the apps to control it. How many times you gotta learn this lesson? Louis, Louis, kill them! I cannot. There is no contract for... C c c c can you at least hurt them? Hurt? One either kills or they don't. Assassination bots do not, as you say, half ass it. What good are you? Oh. I know what he's good for. I've lost my taste for it, man. I mean, what's the point? I don't care. I'm gonna be dead soon anyway. Stop being depressed! You're ruining this for me! Sure, bro. was already garbage. Been meaning to get an upgrade anyway. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. Here you are. Locked up. <laughs> Precious Echo Deck shattered. You're defenseless. And now I can watch you rot like a pile of old beans. Pile of old beans? Silence! Piles of old beans can rot if you leave them out long enough! I don't have to justify myself! I've 
injured enough of your humiliation. Dumb Tavio! <laughs> From what? From everything! Example? Well, I don't know! There's so many things! I can't think of anything specifically! If you can't even think of one thing... Whoa. Maybe you should let him bounce back a little. Sniff this scented candle. It's nice. I also have a sandalwood, which I find very relaxing. Yeah! Nobody asked for your stupid candle! Why can't you just put me out of my misery so we can get this over with? Because, you insolent twerp, killing you is the last thing I want to do. Even if I ignored Susan's orders to keep you alive as leverage, death's too easy! Whoa, whoa! Hold on! What? What? Why are you suddenly so perky? Is it from my scented candle? Susan Coldwell tortured me because I have value, not because I'm valueless. I I'm not sure that's the right takeaway from all this. No, it is. Susan Coldwell needs me alive. Susan could have killed me, but she didn't. She needs me to keep being a pawn in her little game, and I'm only good for leverage while I'm alive. <laughs> she doesn't care about me, but she needs me. Did you say the one thing you can't do is kill me? Right, because death is more than you deserve. No, because your boss wants me alive. <laughs> because you're my boss wants you alive. <laughs> Yikes. I'm pretty sure I just heard you say that you, a literal gun, has orders from Susan Coldwell to not kill me. Well, what did he do? Wow, correct! Exactly one person in the entirety of the six galaxies gives exactly one stag as to whether or not you live or die. Because you may hold some tangential value as leverage over your uncooperative and super valuable sister. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Congratulations! Now, back to my ultimate revenge! What? What? What are you doing? This is a hostage situation. Everybody, back off! I mean it. Hands up and get out of my way, or I get it. Put me down right frickin' now! You can't do this. Hands up and get out of my way, or I get it. Put me down right frickin' now! Well, I'm doing it, so I guess we're both gonna have to wait and see! You want me to pull the trigger? Crap! No! I'll do it, man! I'll pull the trigger! You slapped me! Mm -hmm. That's right, that's what I thought. We don't have a healing shard lying around. Oh, I'm just gonna walk it off. I'm gonna walk it off. Let him walk it off. There. I'm good. I'm good. Deactivate the bars. Deactivating bars. You! Get in there! You know what? Good for you. <laughs> um, how do I... Button on your left. <laughs> now who's the boss? You are! <laughs> and... Contract uploaded. Louis! Louis! What did you do? 
Oh, <laughs> we just uploaded a bounty contract and that red laser. Hello. Is your name Red Laser? Please confirm your name is Red Laser. Come on. Robots are supposed to be smart. He'll be busy for a long time. All right. Let's smash this one with it. I want to catch, sink, or swim tonight. You sit tight, beefcakes. Warning! You are getting angry! Consider it is just a robot. Consider it is not really your friend. Consider you do not have friends. She, uh, seems to be getting mad. I think it's because I called her beefcakes. Arr. Well, if that's got her upset, imagine how she'd react if she knew what the boss was doing to Octavio. What is your boss doing to Octavio? Aha! Uh -huh. You can't flee forever, Red Laser. What is your boss doing to Octavio? That's as fast as you can go. Shut up! It's heavy. If he dies without admitting his erotic feelings for me, that will crush him. Whoa, what a... what a mental image. Uh. Say hi to your Helen friends. Uh. I mean... Say hi to your friends in hell. Congratulations, Francine. Your life will conclude without breaking your anger-filled rampage streak. I was good. I controlled myself. And at the end of the day, I still get murked by these jackasses. I don't believe you. It's true. He's super screwed. Whatever. Ock will be fine. He can handle himself. You don't believe that. Nah, I don't believe that. Susan frickin' Coldwell is still drawn breath. TDR is gonna use that alien whatever to take over. Just breathe, Francine. I am breathing. And my goddamn sponsor bot won't shut up. I'm sitting in a crappy mockery of my Froyo store. Yeah, that sucks. Careful, Francine. Shut. Uh. My freaking friends are captured! Just when I was beginning to actually make some friends. Just breathe, Francine. I am breathing. of keeping my cool. I get yanked off the wagon by a bunch of corporate douchebags. Now, now, there's no need to use that kind of language. Shut up! is a crime punishable by
Okay, I'm not a jabber. That's an improvement. In the what? Am I? Octavio? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Maybe I should go back to being a jabber. Oh, the sweet comfort of being a jabber. Stop! Get a hold of yourself, Anu. This is your consciousness. Exert control. Take charge. Demand. Demand. I'm going to demand. You can't stop these pythons, baby. If you got a problem, say it to me. The big O. Yeah? Yep. I'm definitely Octavio. Your other half. My other half. When we fused, you were consumed by the desire to save him. Where the heck have you been? You're supposed to be packed by now! Jeez, do I really sound like that? I sound... insufferable. Don't forget pedantic and condescending. Yeah, Octavio did tend to call me those things. Overbearing. Like an alarm with a broken snooze button. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going. What? I'm not going to Atlas with you. I heard you. I'm just trying to fathom how moronic you're acting. I wanted to talk to you about it. There's nothing to talk about. I'm giving you a golden ticket off this dumpster fire of a planet, and you're squandering it. Oof. That's harsh. Atlas is not my golden ticket. I knew it. You're too scared to leave the nest. Still aimlessly goofing around like a teenager. Do you remember what he said next? I don't know what you're still doing here. You don't even know what you're still doing here. I'm doing the best I can, one step at a time. Life isn't all planned out like one of your science recipes. That's the talk of a slacker. Whoa. And it's science equations, not recipes. You're right. There's nothing to talk about because you refuse to listen. I'll listen when you have something to say worth hearing. Okay, that didn't come out right. No wonder I don't remember what he said. I was too focused on convincing him that what I wanted was right for both of us. It caused a rift. Now isn't the time for debate. I bought your ticket. You're going. End of discussion. I'm not leaving everything because you get a fancy job at Atlas. It's the chance of a lifetime. Yeah, your lifetime. I have dreams of my own. Like what? I'm gonna start a business. <laughs> I never took him seriously. Not even a little. <laughs> really? I have the work ethic, the street smarts, the connections. Wake up, Octavio! You're living a delusion! No! Okay. Look at this logically. You need some income, right? Now that I'm running my own lab, I can get you an entry-level job at Atlas. Most likely something in sanitation or food services. Maybe a secretary job, if you can answer calls like an adult. Why didn't he want to go with you, Anu? It's not the self-made businessman track, but it's better than you lying in a ditch. He stayed for countless more reasons than he had to leave with me. Namely, I didn't treat him the way he deserved to be treated. I treated him like... A burden I had to carry. Sanitation? Food service? That's all you see for me? That's the highest I can aspire to in your mind. Screw that. I don't want your pity. The problem, Octavio, is that you don't know what you need. That's what I'm here for. Logical, evidence-based rationale for that? Didn't think so. Please, I don't want to see any more. Why? Because what I did next broke us. This is my home! Fine! Stay here then. You belong with the trash. God, I am so embarrassed that you're my brother. 
There is nothing intelligent, ambitious, or worthwhile in you. I've wasted so much time and energy protecting you. For nothing. I'm done. After that, we always felt separated. You two can never undo that rift. Never unmake that harm. No. But we can still reach each other. Impossible. This is your past. Then I have to step outside the past and view it. Compassionately. My mind. My rules. <sighs> now, let's bridge this divide. Try and see his point of view, even if I don't agree with it. Try and understand how he feels. No matter what, we're both always doing our best. That's enough and all anyone can ask for. I was so fixated on who was right, as if it could only be one of us. Reevaluate my beliefs. I originally believed he didn't value my opinion. Now, though, I'm seeing he values it a lot. You've constructed a bridge of empathy. A cute trick for us humans, if we do the work. This? Octavio, I... What I said before, it wasn't true. But I think I finally understand. All you've wanted from me was... Reframing your regrets. Empathy for the past. Very curious. It's my choice to make. I trust you. To be heard. I hear you. I didn't respect you enough to let you make your own decision. And it was me who was scared. By holding on, I was holding you back. You've seen how far I've come? You really can succeed on your own. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so sorry. You may be fixed here. Out there, you're still broken. Yes. I suppose I am. Wait. I understand now, why I'm trapped here. Yes. What the? What an interesting turn of events. Your rage has reached such critical levels that Sponsorbot's only recourse is to turn into a killing machine and murder you. Sponsorbot knows you better than anyone. It can anticipate your every move. Might I suggest a new combat style? Perhaps something turn-based. Warning! You have finally succumbed to your fury! Your worst fears about yourself are true! You will always be an angry, selfish murderer! As a reward for our many years together, I am pleased to offer you the 13th step, Swift Death. Take your time. Last words can be tough.
You don't know what you're talking about. I've monitored your emotions, biometrics, and arousal states for years. So by definition, I do know what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Fear not. Once you're dead, you'll no longer be burdened by angry outbursts. That's not really a consolation. We'll discuss it when you're dead. You don't know what you're talking about! Running from your problems? I thought you were better than that. You gonna talk all day or are we gonna throw hands? Hands, hands, hands! I tried. I really did. But you're right. Thank you. It's nice to know I'm right before I destroy you. You're really not budging on that, huh? Maybe I'd have an easier time controlling my anger if your judgy ass weren't around at all. Meeting aggression with more aggression. I'm sure that'll calm you right down. The hell do I do? Who gives a rat's ass what you think? You're just a judgy little dickhead bot. I'm pretty sure you care, considering you kept me intact all this time. Louis! Fellow machine. I will placate you with robot comedy. What did the microprocessor say to the corrupted solid-state drive? You can't hide behind jokes here. Bring down the hammer! Oh, Francine. You know there are no shortcuts to rehabilitation. I'm sick of being judged. And I'm sick of being angry, and I'm sick of you! I do my best work when I'm pissed. I'm supposed to apologize for that? Fun fact! An inability to control your emotions is not, in fact, a skill. Come on! Come on! Beat anybody! Choco Rocco! We are beyond coping mechanisms, Francine. Free labor. Free labor. Free labor. Free labor. Francine made a new friend. That is evidence of improvement. There's got to be a better way of dealing with this. It can't just come down to never be angry or get consumed by it. That's some bulwark. Sorry, friend. Options are a luxury only non-murderers can afford. Ah. Uh. I'm sick of being judged, and I'm sick of being angry, and I'm sick of you! Seen me. If I have to choose between hating myself and not hating myself, well, that ain't a choice at all. But no, no buts, except for my butt. And you can kiss my butt, sponsor butt. Oh. Yeah. angry any more than I'll stop breathing but I can manage my emotions they don't control me and right now I'm managing them to whoop your ass Woo! Francine you've done it my secret plan to make you accept yourself by condescending and needling you until you realize the true path to rehabilitation went off without a hitch I'm so happy you I want you to know I'm not angry just disappointed Mecha-centripetal force typhoon! 
Run! They can't kill me. Famous last words. Yo, listen up! This is a hostage situation. No one move. No one even think about moving. Um, Brock? Is he just holding you to his head? Just shoot him! Don't you think I would have done that already? He can't. And neither can you. Or Susan Coldwell will incinerate all of you. She does that, right? Oh, yeah! So, uh, no one move, or I sh shoot me with this Brock. You think he's bluffing? I don't know. I was about to take lunch. I mean, what's the point in going on anyway? I'm not a VIP! I was never on Forge's super successful Dirty 30! Maybe I should just end it all! No! Wait! You have so much to live for! Yeah? Like what? It's a trap! Don't answer that! Oh, you think I'm playing? Oh, he just caught me! He just caught me! I just caught him! <laughs> I've shot myself before, I'll do it again! Back! Oh, why did I do that? Walk it off! My demands? Oh, yeah, my demands. I've been thinking about so many demands. Say something nice about me. That's your demand? You gonna do it? Uh, you're, uh, you're very tall-ish. About my personality? Uh, you're a, a very free spirit. Ooh, ooh. You're not afraid to live out of your comfort zone. Thank you. If you've adjourned your book club and finished your rosé, can't we get on with it? Bring me Fran! Fran? What, you mean that brassy broad in the hover chair? That's right. Last I heard, she was said to be executed at her mock-up failure store. But I don't know if she's been executed yet. We'll find out! Execution bros, you have eyes on Fran. Breaker, breaker, copy, copy. Has Fran been bumped? We cannot find out. Sorry. I want... I want... A taco! <sighs> Put it on the ground. Now kick it over to me! The right thing. That was my lunch. Good. Good. Tell me where Anu is! Uh, the doctor from the tea talk? Oh, she's in a secret restricted area. Which secret restricted area? Uh, we don't know. It's, it's a secret. Oh. The logic's pretty solid. All right, well, my demands are met. I'm getting the hell out of here. Hold it! Why don't you turn around and put the gun on the ground? 
or I'll blow my brains all over this hallway! You're not the only one who could play hostage. You think I won't? You think I won't? Do you think we won't? Just shoot me! It isn't Bivington Bradwick. Mr. VIP himself. Or was it V VIP? I lost track after you put me in a cage! Listen, I know things got weird at that party. Between you and me, Susan really knows how to kill a vibe, you know? <laughs> and me! She killed me! Like a bunch of times! At the tea talk! I saw! I was like, what? What? <laughs> you know? Man! I mean, Susan hired me to trap you, but that was just so not namaste. So I totally get that you're feeling a little, like so many feelings, but mainly feeling a little deeply, deeply traumatized. Yes, 100% yes, all the traumas. I hear. You put me in a cage. Actually, you put you in the cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously? Wow! <laughs> Shut up, gun! <laughs> Look, you've got the wrong impression of me. I first thought you were a fame-thirsty idiot. But look at everything you've done here. That's brains. Literally, brains. You don't know who I am, where I've been, the things I've seen. I was in prison. For 30 minutes. Ugh. That's amazing. I mean, that's the kind of experience that can really impress Silver Spoon investment brats. Like you? Oh. Not unlike me. <sighs> Look. You've been a pathetic nobody hustler for your whole life. You're so low on the ladder, Susan Coldwell's only keeping you alive as leverage. She doesn't care about your potential. But I do. Put down the talking gun and let me make you a superstar, Octavio. Let me make you a real VIP. <laughs> Nah, I'm good. You hate me more than Bivington, right? Right? Uh, I'm checking this wall directory, but every room looks the same. Oh yeah, tell me about it. I get lost here all the time. Wait a minute! We're not on the same side! Don't move! Friend! Okay, Froger flavor calming technique. Peanutty buddy. Cuckoo coconut. <laughs> Razzmatazz radish. Right! Right, that flavor was discontinued. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm Octavio. <laughs> You're angry. <laughs> but I accept you. Huh? <laughs> huh? We boning? What? 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 There's on you. After your horrendous torture, Susan mentioned taking your sister to a lab. 
Is that where you're going? I was going... You know, I don't know where I was going. I sort of picked up this gun and walked around. Well, let's just kick down every door until we find her. Want some tea? Uh... Sure. Splendid. Brew us some tea. Uh, there isn't any tea. Pity. Shall we bone? What? 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 Door number 108. Where's my sister? Uh, This is Susan's office. Hot. Diggity donuts. Yeah. <sighs> nah. I can't even disrespect your stuff. That improve your mood? A little. Well, spread out! There's gotta be something in here that'll tell us where to find Anu. Sure thing, but before we do that, let the hostage go. You mean Brock? I mean you. You did good back there, kid. I'm proud of you. You're special to me. I know. So special. Thanks. I'm giving you an air hug. <laughs> I'm giving you one back. Guns <laughs> can vomit, I would. Oh, your feelings are disgusting. Come on. Louis, guard the door while we look around. Affirmative. I'll stay here and summon the guards with my mind. You can do that? No, but I can try. This is your first time in Susan's office? Oh, no, I mean, it's amazing how this office never changes. Because I spend so much time in here. <laughs> because I'm such close personal friends with Susan Caldwell. We, uh, we, we have a time share together. It's, 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 it's really exclusive. Um, uh, we go together like peanut butter and guns. Chunky peanut butter and... Louis, can you plug yourself into a terminal here? Why would I do that? So you can access the mainframe and find Anu? Oh, so you think just because I'm a robot, I can plug myself into a terminal? We're both machines. Machines love plugging themselves into machines. That's... I, I didn't mean... A little reductive, don't you think? It's these ignorant, anti-mechanistic attitudes that hurt robots everywhere. I'm sorry. I never meant to offend you. It's okay. I, these confrontations just tend to drain my battery. I'm going to go plug myself into the first socket I see. Ah! A vault lander? Who would leave a vault lander lying on me? You fell right into my perfectly laid trap. No, I didn't. You fell from an air duct. Did I? Yes. Well, now you have to hang out with me. Because of the trap, that's the rule. Hey, I know that weirdo. He's obsessed with- Vault landers. And we're playing. And if I win, you have to live in the air duct and breathe asbestos. You've been breathing asbestos? Let's play! Versus Handsome Jack, Vault Landers, fight! KO. You. You didn't teach me anything. And now, I shall disappear into the unknown. What are you talking about? Here. <coughs> 
Are you trying to crawl in the air duct? You can't see! It's too smoky! <sighs> Any ideas on how we can find Anu? Yeah! Shh! Computer! Find Anu! Find Anu. That's all I got. Get a load of big suits. What an ugly mug. <gasps> Would be a real shame if someone broke her face. A real shame. That finger slipped. Did I do that? <laughs> Is this Susan's Equinex? The Supreme Deluxe model! Ultra thin titanium bezel, 12 cameras, long lasting iridium battery. This isn't even in stores yet! Ock, let me just try one app. Ooh, TDR Friend Maker. I wonder what it does. Uh, we don't have time for you to make friends. Let me at least try one button. <sighs> Unsettling. But cool! If I can find a terminal, I can probably track Anu through the surveillance system with this baby. It smells exactly like Susan Coldwell would smell. He's doing stand-up sets at every comedy club in Promethea. The Ha Ha House, Captain Korn's Chuckle Hut, Promethea Penitentiary. Wow! Wait, what's this? He's got a sitcom greenlit? Where's my bounty? Put in the ass in ass ass -a nation Premiering this fall on PBC, I'm so gonna watch that. Let's see where we can dig up an old Brock. Who wants to give me an oil bath? He's writing a book? There's my memoir. Eat, pray, gun. One sentient firearms journey through life, love, and spiritual fulfillment. And how he became better for it. And how he shot a lot of stuff along the way. That's a really long title. I'm looking for constructive notes. Okay. Let's see what we got on your background, Fran. <laughs> uh, most likely to burst a blood vessel. Impressive. True. Uh, most likely to pork the principal? Less impressive. But true. Um, I think we're done. <sighs> the jabber goes. Yeah, but base directory. Where's Anu? The rat goes. It's a decoy computer! <laughs> no, no, no. No button tells me what to do. Ooh, I can scrub the surveillance system and find Anu. Password protected? Of course. Just guess it! That never works. She likes money. Try money. That's stupid! Try money! 
It didn't work. Needs a number. Try money one. <sighs> Forget it. Try millions of money. Big box. Bitch of box of bags of moolah. Dough. Lots of dough. Cashola. Give me moolah. Seven, seven, seven. I don't know why. Just like seven. All right. Let me just hack into the terminal with Susan's fancy new Equinix. No, wait. My fancy new Equinix. So sleek. So powerful. So expensive. The ultimate symbol of a true VIP. Just holding it, I feel like a boss. <laughs> Such a boss. Such a boss. I'm a boss. I'm forgetting myself, I need to hack this thing. Curse you, sexy Equinox. All right, now with Susan's firewall, this could take... I'm in! <laughs> Lightning fast! Never leave me, fancy Equinox. Never. What are you doing? <laughs> it's mine! You can't tear us apart! It's not my type. We're here for the terminal. Right. The terminal. It's like they're keeping Anu in a lab. Here, Sector Zeta. That's an Omega. That's what I said. Are we ready to rescue Anu and get the fudge out of here? It's hero time. You said I'm fixed here, but I'm not. And I can't be who I want to be out there until I make peace with who I really am and what I've done. And I'm starting with you. You told everyone on Promethea you took a job at Atlas so you could change the world. I wanted to be seen changing the world. I never pondered what that actually meant. You can adapt, Anu. Grow. I always saw that. Which is why I think I hired you. Or why I think you think you hired me. Right. Exactly. But the truth is, I took the job because I was desperate for approval and acceptance. My acceptance? Yes. In a way, I admired you. You're a hero, an entrepreneur. Keep going. The people you deem intelligent? Did you really need me to tell you you're intelligent? No. I always knew that. I just didn't trust it. Then, do you need me? A manifestation of your boss to tell you to trust yourself? No. I could do that on my own. You're seeing yourself more clearly now. She's resisting the incision. Increase the temperature. Only time for it, degrees. You're in the heart with your heart in the right place. Just remember to breathe. Okay, we just cut to the heart. This wall is a construct of my own mind. It's just a mental barrier. Lilith face walks, I face walk, transitive property. I'm like Lilith. Whoa! <sighs> okay. <sighs> you don't have to talk like that here. Say what you mean. You killed. Me! It was self-defense. It was murder! I never intended... Intention? 
the violence remains. I thought darkness only lurked in other people, bad people. But it's also within me. You're proof of that. You reflect. Give your sin meaning. That is courage. I was worried about the idiot. She's healing faster than we can learn. I don't usually like the corporate types, but there's just something about it. Get tacos. Okay. Can't face walk this. I always dreamed of being a siren. And this is a lucid dream space. Maybe I can also... Face grasp. Stop! Take it off! <laughs> well, 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 look who it is. Little Miss can't do wrong. You know what, though, Missy? You're no better than that Susan Coldwell, if you ask me. You're both playing with, with power you don't understand. You're right. I had the device with me when I... Brutally killed me to save your own skin? I could have used it to heal you, but... I didn't. I prioritized saving myself. I valued my own life above yours. I'm a total hypocrite. <laughs> it's Promethea. I would have done the same. But... What if we lived in a world where we didn't have to? That's a lot of work. You really up for that? Yes. But I can't do it alone. I don't need her alive. I need the shard. If your head came out of the clouds, you'd see you've got a good thing going. Is that price but kind of the best you've got here? Okay. Uh, no platforms. Nothing to grab. I guess the only thing I could possibly do is... <gasps> Ooh, okay, Anu. Ooh, you got this. <gasps> In here, you're a siren. In here, you can... All humans, no matter how high-minded, are the same. You're all selfish, vainglorious, incapable of stopping the pain all around you. True. But that makes us capable of something else. What's that? Compassion. Reflection and ultimately, change. so obsessed with this device as the solution. So obsessed with solving the universe's pain, I didn't even see the pain right in front of me. Listen 
very carefully. I need you to watch over this woman. She, or what's inside her, is the most valuable object in the universe right now. Far more valuable than you. Do I make myself clear? And why in the seven hells somebody prematurely launched our ship back into space? Yeah! Yeah! And that is how you pistol whip. Really wish you didn't demonstrate with me. On you! Scanning. You are so lucky I don't know your face or name. I don't need a name to knock this one's head off. You want a death day? Have a bullet for a pretty picnic! You could have killed us already, but you didn't. There's something off about you. No. <clears throat> Still guarding my sister. But my Octavio senses are going through the roof! You're pointing guns at two of the most dangerous people in the galaxy. And a deadly but well-meaning robot. If a vault monster couldn't kill us, some solitary deity or grunt sure ain't. We're rescuing my sister. So you have two choices. Get your face bashed in. Or don't. Hiya! What the? Using me as a means to save your sister, Octavio? Wasn't. I was trying to... You invaded my personal space, which is 4.8 centimeters from my metallic surface. Oi! Dexter! Yeah, yeah. You jackasses weren't holding me prisoner because I'm important. You just knew Anu wouldn't want anything to happen to her brother. Laugh it up! Octavia doesn't matter! Ha ha ha! So funny! Uh, something you want to talk about, Ock? Don't care about Ock! Away from Thug Man! And you can care about her from back there, friendo. My sister's gotten the crap kicked out of her enough. She doesn't need anything else. Brother? Friend! Friend? Whoa! We can both come out of this ahead. There's gotta be something you want, right? Lady! My sister? Pick something else. Bad guy dressed as a bad guy! Yeah. Threat neutralized! Not threat, friend! Friend? Keep the vault lander! Buy somebody token! Bosom buddy token. It would appear this TDR guard is previously acquainted with Anu, and may also be a psycho. Not psycho anymore! TDR guard now! Why would a psycho bandit sign up to be a corporate foot soldier? Free gym membership! Great! Awesome! Let's get her out of here! Great! Awesome! Came here to rescue her also! Thought you were trying to kill her! Glad we clear up comical misunderstanding! Yeah, not that comical. It was a little bit comical. Anu! <sighs> you can help me up now. Yeah. <sighs> oh. oh, headache. <clears throat> uh, I know this isn't a great time, but I sort of shot myself in the leg. You sort of shot yourself in the leg? I shot myself in the leg, all right? Why did you shoot yourself in? Can you just heal it, please? Give me that zap zap. Thanks, Bunches. Hey, don't judge. You shot yourself when we first tried out the shards healing. That's because I didn't want to shoot any of you. <laughs> Two siblings who both shot themselves. We're not so different, you and I. We're very different. I need us to be different. Wow. <laughs> I forgot how much better a non-shot leg feels. How do you two know each other? Long story. 
Short version, we are friends! Maybe more! Very will they, won't they? I see. Have you two had, a uh, mouth to mouth? No. Why? No reason. Comatose for a while. Is your brain malfunctioning? I had such a cool dream. I was a siren. Now, headache. That is not healthy. Anu? Anu, wait. Who are we dealing with? Is it Anu or that shard spirit thing? Huh. Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> Stapleface knows this feel. I think I'm me. <gasps> but maybe it's the shard telling me it's me when really it's me. <gasps> maybe this is the shard pretending to be me. Being nervous, it's pretending to be me. <laughs> what if? Yeah, that's Anu. Of course I'm me! If I were an all-powerful shard spirit, I wouldn't be as terrified as I am right now! <laughs> or is that exactly what an all-powerful shard spirit would say to make us think it was you? Anu, what's your favorite Froger flavor? Oh, <laughs> gosh, uh, how to choose? The, 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 there's just so many f flavors. It's so much of Fran staring at me right now. I, um, vanilla, vanilla. It's Anu for sure. I don't know. Test me. Ask me something I, Anu, would have a strong reaction to. How heavy is your Healy gun? It is not a gun. Okay, I'm still me. Well done, well done. <laughs> Did it feel like we... Yeah, we're in space. Black starry sky town! Oh, launch. As in launch the building into space, not... <laughs> not the app. What? How was I supposed to know? Who puts a button like that on their Echo Decks? Okay, okay, that's on me. I'll take the L. But I can fix this. There's definitely an unlaunch button here. And Viola! New idea. We all find escape pods. Immediately. Don't have to tell me twice. I hate space, and I hate this corporate dump. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Hilarious bit. Woman who won't leave. <laughs> so good. Okay, let's go. We can't. Why the hell not? Be sure his mother can. You find an escape pod, get in the escape pod, and escape. I'm not leaving while the shard is still inside me. And to be honest, I'm not sure I can leave while the shard is still inside me. Wow, you really are hard up on being the special sparkle princess. This is bigger than me. At this range, Susan can use her shard in her doomsday machine. She'll destroy Promethea. What? No! All my stuff is there. <gasps> Things you own. Own you. At this range, Susan can fire her doomsday weapon at Promethea. We've got to stop her. We're the only ones with a chance. The tiniest chance. Still a chance. If we do this, can I still punch Susan in the face? Yes. Promise? I promise. I also promise. Uh, thanks. At this range, Susan can blast Promethea with her doomsday device. We started this mess. We have to clean it up. We have to save the world. Ooh, I just got chills. Anyone else get chills? When you say doomsday machine. A larger, more powerful iteration of our own device that some cool, but not intimidatingly cool scientist kinda, sorta, tricked me into creating for her. A big, giant, humongous, super gun. Super device. Actually, yeah, in this case, it's a gun. Okay. Okay. How do we stop her? In Atlas, 
We operated our highest level weapons from the ship's bridge. It also controls ship's flight path. Stay to your training, leave fun fact and staple face brain. Our mission is clear. Storm the bridge. Kill or knock out Susan. And return these shards where they belong. It sounds like the perfect plan. Except the bridge is the most fortified section of the ship, defended by swarms of TDO guards, drones, turrets, exploding toilets, and filthy data ports that lie about their age and don't text you back. I'm just guessing about the last one. Don't! Anne. I hate this plan. but also friends. Wait, so they're your prisoners, each other's friends, and you have direct orders to take them to the bridge? Y yes Okay, move now. Hold her right there. I'm calling this in. Nobody move. We probably should not let them call this in. Now we're definitely calling this in! Emergency lockdown protocols above staple face and tapering! Well, I'm out of ideas. It'll take sophisticated technology to interface to demagnetize the seal. What about beep boop beep? You know, beep boop beep, your echo decks. You think beep boop beep is a sound for my echo decks? Use your echo decks! Oh yeah, I can do that. <sighs> I can honestly say, this is not how I saw my week going. You and me both. I suppose it will be over soon, one way or the other. Hopefully a good way, and not the other. I mean badly. I hope it doesn't end badly. When this is all over, we're gonna celebrate. Yes, we'll do something really fun. Different. Something special. We'll for Froyo. We'll go for Froyo. Oh, I'm coming in. Don't spoil it. Okay. The dog yet? Hey, Y'all just go ahead and move them horses while I suss this pickle out. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help but turn on Susan's voice disguise. It's a hit and a half. <laughs>
think we should let him finish them off. This seems really important to him. He's gonna be so tuckered out later. Poor little guy. <laughs> Bombastic! Dragon Toter Robot's a bad name! GG! Well played! Grab, grab, grab! You have a friend in range. Huh? Of course! TD or friend maker! Susan doesn't use the app to call friends. She uses it to make and remake friends. Don't you see? What? I'm still hip. I still get technology. I wonder if I can customize the settings and give it a dark theme. Just use your stupid echo dumper! Friend code scanned. I brought an Echodex to a gunfight. Why can't I shoot you? Why can't I shoot you? Your safety is permanently on. I'm a gun that can't shoot? Technically, you're not even a gun. Tedior doesn't register you as a weapon anymore. Maybe don't shoot people. <laughs> Enjoy your life as a paperweight. <laughs> now that we're finally about to face the boss of Tedior, I've been processing our friendships. There they are! Anu, get the next door. When I first met you all, I believed you were all disgusting, inefficient sacks of flesh, walking animals with no purpose, other than converting food to feces. Great story, Lee. Fran, close the door. Oh, that's no good. Die, door! You know what? Maybe it's the adrenaline. Maybe it's the fact that Susan already killed me a few dozen times. But I'm not even a little bit scared right now. We've survived worse. We're gonna survive this too. I just know it. Title of our sex tape! W what'd you say? You said that ain't good, and I said title of our sex tape. <laughs> because we'd have sex, and it wouldn't be good to film or to watch. It'd be great. There we go. It's jammed! No, no! Elbow juice! I like her. That psycho traitor's with them, too! Anytime now, on you, situation's getting critical! Anu, you were an anxiety ridden corporate shill. You were a friend of your own shadow. Oh, Anu, get the next door. Why do I always get the hard ones? 
There has to be a weakness here somewhere. I'll find it. Now you're a heroic example to humanity, courageously standing up to evil. Even if it means you'll definitely, absolutely die. <gasps> Google goggles! Why did I just say that? Slay, Queen! <laughs> Scanning. Scan complete. It's a door. I know! I need an opening before we all die! Uh, increase magnification! Zooming for clues. Sometimes the best way to find things is to make everything bigger. Well said. <laughs> Why am I talking to goggles? Because a good friend can be right in front of your eyes. Like me. I'm right in front of your eyes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Zooming. Enhancing. Composition analysis. Door composed of 64% door fibers, 35% various door materials, 1% door handle. Not helpful. You try being scanning goggles. Increase magnification! I'm zooming. I'm zooming. That's all you want from me. Zooming. Enhancing. Yes! Now zoom and enhance! Zooming. Enhancing. Magnification at atomic level. Oh, look at all the little door molecules. Can we break through them with hard enough hits? You want to hit the molecules? They didn't do anything to... Increase the zoom! We need flaws, gaps, inconsistencies, anything! Zoom all the way in! Affirmative. Approaching maximum zoom. We're zooming where no goggle has zoomed before. Zooming. Enhancing. Magnification at the quantum level. Warning, things are about to get weird. I've seen weird before. At this point, nothing can surprise, surprise to me. Iridium particles permit him to exist in multiple dimensions at the quantum level. He's trying to say something. What's he saying? Scanning. Pull? Pull Van der Waals force through a quantum state? Pull apart covalent bonds from the door molecules? Pull! The door handle? That was my next guess. The door handle. <sighs> Tell no one about this. I can't promise that. Guys! I just opened the extremely difficult <laughs> complicated door! You can fix this, right? You can make her okay? I don't know. I, I can try. No. No time. Time is delicious. Went that way. Of course they went that way. It doesn't fork off anywhere. There's no windows or doors. It's literally the only direction they could go. Once again! I feel like you are criticizing me in a high pressure situation. We will discuss this later, Daryl. You know I'm bringing this up with Eleanor. Don't you bring this up with Eleanor! <laughs> Son of a...
skag! Son of a skag! A fluid dynamic thermolock. I I've read about these, but I never thought I'd actually see one in the wild. A fluid do you what now? This is bleeding edge security. By using a series of hydraulic pumps, the door's lock must be depressurized by balancing a precise volume of liquid at a perfect temperature. It's adjusted by dispensing viscous door fluid from those handles. But with this many variables, the number of permutations is... 4,088,300,031. No, wait. 32. I forgot to round the decimal. This isn't even fair. This is impossible. Pouring frozen yogurt. You kids, stand back. Mama Fran's about to pour the most important yogurt of her life. Self-control in an out-of-control world. The door is open, and I just made the perfect cup of yogurt. My goodness. You are majestic, Francine. When we first met, early data concluded that you were in the throes of a midlife crisis, sublimating rage-induced insecurities into mediocre desserts. But now, I see you are comfortable and confident, being much, much, much older than everyone else. Oh, saved by the gunfire! <laughs> I love being in danger with you all. There they are. Just like I said. Close that door! What? Really? Wow. Your violence only reveals ignorance. Listen. I don't know how viable this plan is, or where this crazy train is going. All I know is I don't trust that shard. You shouldn't either. I have it under control. The union is perpetual. Have you ever thought about breaking up with that thing? Out of the question! It heals wounds! It brought me back from the dead, for pity's sake! You're usually smug and condescending, but you're taking arrogance to a cosmic level! This isn't like you! If you think insulting me somehow advances your argument, you're pathetically mistaken! See? Even if you don't agree, do it for me! Your brother. Please. The longer the shard lives in you, the more it changes you. You do see that, right? Of course I see that! Conversed with the shard deeply. If you experienced what I experienced, ditch it. Call it an experiment. Life without the shard. Without the shard, we'd be nothing. That's not true. No company, no capital, no future for either of us. We need the shard, and it needs us. Call me old fashioned, but I don't love this alien consciousness living in your mind, roommate. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine! 
Look inside! Do you even know, truly know, where the shark ends and Anu begins? You're irrational, you're delusional, I'm your sister, I know what's best for you. You said those words to me way back when. They were harsh, but I know they were with love. So Anu, you're irrational, you're delusional. I'm your brother, I know what's best for you. Our success didn't come from the shark's healing power. It came from us, you and me, and this will still be here as long as you don't let the shark eat you from the inside. Maybe you're right. Maybe we wouldn't be successful. But I'd love to be unsuccessful with you. I have a clear shot. Focus. Relax your shoulders. Breathe out and squeeze. You are micromanaging! Lovely. What I'm trying to say is I've learned something from each of you. Last but not least, friend Octavio. Octavio! Louis! You were always important to me. Did you get up? Negative. Sadly, your use for me ends here. That's it, I'm dragging him. Stop. Please. Listen. Because of my programming, I was required to kill. I was an assassination bot. But now, because of you, I can choose to save. I am a protector bot. And you just got L0U13. Don't you dare die. You gotta keep fighting. I'm putting out a contract on those CDO guards. You have to get up and kill them. Grenade! <laughs> Who's gonna do a weird robo comedy? You had so many jokes. <laughs> so many dumb jokes. Sorry about your friend, but it's nice to see my soldiers can hit something every once in a while. I certainly pay enough for them. <laughs> and now you're here, on my bridge, doing what? First attempt at a corporate takeover? A hollow, vainglorious attempt to save the world? <laughs> oh, you possess one of the most powerful objects in the known galaxies. But it doesn't negate one crucial, inescapable fact. What's that? You're weak. Since the very beginning, from the moment you bumbled onto that shard, had the delusion to call yourself a company, you never had a chance. But why? You have a valuable product, capital, smarts, and yet you all fail. So utterly and completely. Why? Because you never had the spine to start a real company. You can't stomach the violence of the business world. No iron ovaries. What hope could you have to compete in the big leagues? <laughs> business lesson one. Your weakness provides me with a competitive advantage. <laughs> now, allow me to show you what we call aggressive restructuring. Give it a minute.
No. No. Congratulations, Dr. Dar. You were right. Your invention has changed the world. They're all... dead. Not all. Some are just mortally wounded. But yes, they'll all die quite soon. Ooh, let's check on them. Breaking news now. They're calling it the Harm Ray. A mysterious blast that's hit our planet, causing Prometheans to die everywhere. More so than usual. Others, ooh, like this reporter, endure excruciating pain before the sweet, sweet release of death. Huh. I suppose there's one way you can still say them. The healing shard in that ticker of yours. You can't cut that thing out of her, even if you wanted to. True, I can't get it out of you for my weapon, so I'll just have you in my weapon. Mm -hmm. People of Promethea? Never! No, I don't think she wants that either. She's right. It's my fault! We don't let her do this. We can't let Susan win. There's gotta be another way. Hunting that big brain of yours. Don't give her what she wants. I don't know this techno computer stuff, but that sparking core doesn't look healthy. Will the weapons core incinerate you? Yes. But think of it as your generous donation toward the healing of Promethea, the whose life is worth more. Yours, or an entire planet. Fulfill your promise. Allow yourself to merge. Reunite my other half in your body. You can defy those who resist. I... I can absorb the other shot in the device. A power well earned. You and I have communed deeply. What will happen to me? Our combined consciousness will overwhelm your corporeal form. The personality known as Anu will crumble, as well as anything anyone would call your humanity. Total death of the individual. But with that incredible power, you'll restore the planet Destroy the egomaniac, end the pointless corporate war, and eradicate violence for good. I believe that is what your soul has always wanted. Anu, don't talk. Just listen. I know that Shard's got crazy magical healing and the ultimate power to stop Susan, but just... This giant weapon is modeled after your device, right? If anyone can find a weak spot, it's you. You've got your engineering smarts. I've got street smarts. We can destroy the device together. We can figure out something, right? Right? What about healing Promethea? Anu, you don't have to take on the suffering of the universe. You can trade it for a few more moments on the spaceship. I. I don't want to lose you to that... thing! Should be done. Forget the shoulds. Your life affects our life. I do want to help people. And it starts with the people in front of me. <clears throat> no exposed isotopic leaks. <laughs> Just like my own device. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to radiation efficiency. On you! You're right. Uh, we can't just brute force an overload. We could... we could... You have a friend in range. What's that? That? <laughs> That's just my state-of-the-art Echo Dex. Think it could be useful? My Echo Dex? How did you get that? I swiped it. Maybe I should return it since I'm not supposed to steal. All right. 
Stealing can be good. I was wrong. <laughs> you were what? I'm sorry. I need you to repeat that. I was wrong. You have a friend in range. Of course. All TDR weapons are friended on the TDR registry. What? No. TDR registry? That's not a thing. I, I don't see a friend code. Knowing Susan, she made it as hard to find as possible. Stop meddling, you insolent! Ah! Guess you're not so tough without your Echo Dexy mix. Echo Dex! The code's here somewhere! Oh. Oh, if only I could reach my go- Goggles, activate! Goggles, activate! Maybe I don't feel like it. You don't feel like it? You've been saucy all night. Zoom, enhance, zoom, enhance. Now you shout at me and expect... Don't worry, sis, I got this. Manual power activated. Did you have to throw it at my face so hard? I hit it, didn't I? Zoom straight to quantum view. Affirmative. So saucy. I'm not saucy! Oh, friend good, friend good. Where's the friend good? Jimmy? Again? Oh, 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 goggles, enhance- Let me guess. Enhance those symbols. Yep. So saucy. Octavio, I've got the code. About what you are doing! Are you ready? Ready! Enter these symbols exactly as I say them. Taco! Taco! Uh, uh, taco! 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 Taco? Three tacos? Uh, yep. Uh, and and the fourth symbol is... Uh, taco. Yeah, it's taco. My kind of code. And doomsday weapon friend, and it worked! <laughs> Good news, she's non-violent. Bad news, she doesn't know what to do with all that shard energy. All that work ruined! Worst news, she seems about to blow! Be done. Forget the shoulds. Your life affects our life. Next to a planet. One life, two, three lives. Are nothing. What is going on? No! No! Integration. Wait a minute, wait! Think this through. This will be quick. And also, painful. You are not in control anymore. Shards are beyond your comprehension, kid. They blow your brains out like a double barrel shotgun. Not a gun. Francine, the next That's words you say will be the last thing Susan hears. Wait! Already? Crap! I thought I'd have more time to think before. That will do. Holy... We are not holy. We are complete. Sis? You okay? Anu? The one known as Anu no longer. Faint in 
houses of the individual. There was a covenant. She formed you to save Promethea. Indeed. As promised, we shall fulfill our deep desires. No more animal testing. Checking to see if you're, uh... I'm getting calls from the other corporations. They're all kind of being, like, eaten alive. Apparently, Jabbers really don't like being tested on, and they're sort of ripping people apart behind me. Alert. Ship is on collision course with Promethea. Impact approaching. I think you might want to talk to her, bud! Estimated casualties from impact with Promethea. Five million plus. You're doing it! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Could you also maybe stop the ship from crashing into Promethea and killing us? Oh, no! Exhortations to the one who is named Arno mean nothing to us. Yeah? Well, you're wearing her body, so it still means something to me. Hey, uh... You're kind of scaring me. You have nothing to fear. We will keep you safe. By keeping the ship from crashing into Promethea? Cool! Could you make the ship not crash into Promethea? Could that be our next wish? We do not grant wishes. Okay, just asking. Impact with one planet. <laughs> Nothing compared to saving all galactic life. What about all the people that are about to die? And the animals, and the stuff! We will bring them back. Heal them. Life and death aren't decided by chance or the anger of the stupid and small. Not anymore. Now, we decide. No one single person decides who lives or dies, you know that. True. We will remove their tools for death. What are you doing? And replace them with something more... benign. Tacos! Echodex. I know I wished for more tacos, but never like this. Never like this! Tacos, yield, and submit to the rebalanced cosmic order. You can turn everything on the ship into tacos. Please do! But you can't stop bad people from doing bad things. Greed, oppression, violence. They'll always find a place to slither out. All right, it's official. You've lost your mind. Our consciousness is magnified by 30 orders of magnitude. Our intellect is supreme. You heard me. You're cuckoo for cuckoo crab worms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you think I need guns to stand up to a bully, well, you don't know me very well. Bring it, bitch. Seriously, if you don't correct the ship's pitch or jaw or whatever, with your science and engineering stuff, we're all dead. Immortal, your death is inevitable. The timing is frivolous. Oh, that's it. I wasn't gonna do this, but you left me with no choice. You need some sense slapped into ya. Here comes my slapping hand. Slapping! You are a lower life form. <gasps> you hunch, freeze, and murder. There's no place for you, or any of your kind, in the new universe. <laughs> goodbye. You're telling me goodbye? Oh, you got some nerve, Missy. Cause I ain't going anywhere without you. Fran? Fran? Fran no longer exists. 
She is a murderer who has now paid her spiritual debt. She is banished, as are all those who have robbed the life of another being. This is PNN. Hello. Welcome to Promethea News Now. The news now you need now. Right now. Developing news. Now. The few citizens of Promethea, still alive with horrific, agonizing pain, who still haven't died yet, are now vanishing completely. What? And it's not just here on the oh, planet. Come on. PNN studio analysts believe people susceptible to vanishing are those who have ever committed murder. Unfortunately, on Promethea, that would be literally everybody. Vanishing attack? Psh, we at Atlas can easily defend to whatever vanishing thing that... Well, I guess it's game over for me. Because I've totally murdered people. So many people. A stone cold murderer right here. Yep. That vanishing's gonna come any minute. Those TDR guards on Prometheus streets. I know I clipped at least one of them. Gathering knowledge. Your bullet actually popped a grunt's herniated disc back into place. Guess I never actually murdered anyone after all. You speak as if in shame. Well, it's just not great for street cred. But then again, I'm still here. So I'll take the W. Looks like it's just you and me, creepy celestial being inhabiting my sister. You feeling the tension? Cause I'm feeling the tension. Feeling is a base to praise human perception. We feel nothing. Well, in these situations, I like to try Octavio's tried and true strategies for public speaking, job interviews, and being an overall suave dude. Your existence hinges on answering us. What is the behavior? Of a suave dude. Uh, let's see. Well, um, the most important thing is to. This must be how Anu feels all the time. I'm sweating in many, many places. Always respond with a question, because the guy asking the questions is always in command. Wouldn't you agree? We fail to understand this. What is the point? How could I even begin to explain? Why do you insist on such buffoonery? Isn't buffoonery just a state of mind? Here's a question. How would you feel if your body were turned inside out? Oh, okay, I'm done asking questions. Cut through the superficial stuff and dig deep. Share dreams, feelings. As stated, we feel nothing. Right. Well, what were your parents like? We have no parents. We are formed through amalgamated dimensional cohesion, manifesting with full cognition and fully realized cosmic power. Okay. What are your passions? You gotta have a hobby or something. Our sole purpose was to reunite paths and reintegrate. That purpose was fulfilled. And now? Now. We are what you humans might call figuring it out. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <sighs> Imagine your audience naked. I see. So, just to confirm, to stay calm, you would visualize us naked. That's right. We who currently inhabit the body of your sister. Yep. So you're choosing to imagine your sister standing in front of you naked? Alright, this is weird. Forget this strategy. 
I'm not the enemy here, Anu. We're on the same side. We've always been on the same side. I've never not rooted for you. Can't you see that? I believed in you enough to go into business with you. That's a big deal for me. What more proof do you need? Proof that you cared about more than making it. Proof that you actually cared about the bigger picture. What did I name the device? Do you even remember? I totally know this because you named it after all of us. Hip because, well, <laughs> I'm super hip. Cratic for Fran because in your words, she's crazy and psychotic and matic for your science brain because it's automatic. Put it all together and what do you get? hip o -cratic matic You really were listening. <laughs> of course I was. My sister put her life on the line to win us a business deal. I didn't take my eyes off that screen for a second. Remember when you fell into the tank? Friend and I rushed to save you. Cause that's what we do for one another. We pick each other up when we're down. You and me, sis, I'm always gonna have your back. Even when we disagree. Words are easy, Octavio. Actions are harder. I don't just need you when my life is in danger. How many times have I completely met the your invasion started? There have been numerous times and circumstances where I thought for sure you'd have a panic attack. But you hardly panicked at all. You've handled the pressure like a pro. I'm so proud of you, Anu. Really. I... Thank you, Ak. Of course. You don't have to thank me. I'm just trying to do what any good brother would do. And when I wanted to get us away from all the horrors of this miserable excuse for a planet, where did I want to take us? Where did I think we'd be safe? It's a simple question. What? Atlas, of course. You wanted to take me to Atlas. I was listening, Anu. I just didn't... It wasn't right for me then. No. Perhaps it wasn't. Look, I know why you wanted to take me off Promethea. I didn't refuse for no reason. And you believe the reason to be? You wanted to save me from getting stabbed to death in a back alley. And I get that. I do. But you can't protect everyone all the time. And I blamed you for always trying to protect me. But I shouldn't have. Why? You have blamed me for much of your life. Why stop now? Because you did it out of love. No, I did not. You did! I don't know if that shard in there knows that, but I know you do, Anu. Because I love you too. Anu. Stop it. Anu! Get away! I want you to really hear me. It's okay. We're okay. What? What are you doing? Betrayer! Come on, artist! No! I listened to you, now you're gonna listen to me! This isn't you! None of this is you! We've both made mistakes. We haven't always done right by one another. I'm willing to admit that. Are you listening, Anu? I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Shit. 
velocity slow. We are one, as are you. Thank you. Don't! <laughs> Yummy. Do you feel better now? Yeah. You good? I'm me again. Good. All right, you two. Let's get the shard and heal Promethea. Not so fast. Bop, bop, bop. I don't think so. Punch me once, as they say. What is she doing? I think she's... Curveball. Killing herself. Really? Sweet! <laughs> That's very big of you, Susan! You're doing the right thing! I'm not killing myself, you idiot! I'm doing what you couldn't. I'm sealing the deal. To get what I want. I give them what they want. No! Not killing herself? Another <laughs> successful merger. Plan or not? Uh... No! We will destroy you, just like your insipid Frogurt shop. You haven't even tried my Frogurt. You'd love making the maniac marshmallow. Alert! Ship is on collision course with Promethea. Impact approaching. Salted nuts! Impact! We don't want impact! No impact! I'll try to fix the trajectory! Cover me! With what?! Oh, man! I'm not a space pirate. Then where'd you get this number? It's space pirate only! Help number, help number, help number! Send! There you are. Oh, man! Your call 
is intergalactic super long distance. You will incur additional roaming charges of $9,785,000 per minute. Do you accept the charges? She sure does. Hello, thanks for calling TD or Hologram customer service. Yes! Please choose one of the following options. No! Please note that our items have changed. I didn't know what they were to begin with. Please wait while we load the choice items. That's my Echo Dex. No matter. Another reason to kill you. Registration. Billing. Insurance claims. Faulty capacitors. Wrongful death. Animal diarrhea. Representative. It sounds like you want... sedative. Why would I... representative? Please hold. You will die as you lived, glued to your echo decks. Don't quite catch that. Would you like to talk to a representative? Yes! Yeah, yes! Your call is important to us. Please hold while I transfer you to a representative. Come on, give me something! How's it looking? Not great! This hold music is terrible! Thank you for calling TDO Hologram Customer Service. I see you on the TDO flagship battle station. On a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate your experience? I need help! Please hold your echo decks in plain view of the wall scanner while standing on the appropriate floor pad. And I'll initiate the remote reboot. Dope! It seems that your wall scanner and flow pad set up are in a state of disarray for ancient cosmic ray damage reasons. You don't say. I can transfer you to the maintenance department. No, 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 no. I'll find a way to patch it up. Uh, can you find a way to fix that floor pad thingy on your side? I'll see what I can do. Make sure to keep that IT guy on the line. We're troubleshooting that on our side. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. Mm. So? Mm -hmm. So? Mm. So? Mm -hmm. holograms of yourself, so Oh, yeah! I can do this! And I can do this! And I can give you some of that sauce! Stop this idiocy. We don't know what you mean by the sauce. We don't like it. I see your problem is resolved. If you could take a two-minute survey and help me keep my job. Now's your chance, F-Dog! Let her rip! Never call me F-Dog. Am I here? Or here? Am I here? Or maybe here? Who cannot stop? I think you got stopped. Chocolate chunk! But that's not fair! The healing sword! She regenerates whatever we hit her with! So the cycle melts people and she's invulnerable? Traitor. Oh, hello. Yes, 
distance and significant. Okay, we can't kill her, so what, we wait till she takes a vacation? That's it? Uh, mm. We send her on vacation. This ship is sporting a gigantic version of your device, right? Of course. The amplifier is functional. The circuits are still intact. Octavio, you're a genius! Embrace annihilation. We just need Susan held in the chamber. Fred, we're sending Susan on vacation! Give it to me. All we need now is a power supply of Iridium. Oh, that's all? Leave that to me. I'll find something. I'll calibrate and fire once everything is... For Froyo. Okay, then. Get in there, kid! I'll stop your fuss, and I'm just gonna lock you in there and not kill you. Your actions are useless and falling. Oh, I'm looking forward to hearing what your screams sound like, Susan. Well, this is it, Susan. Any last words? We were about to ask you the same. Your loss. Gotcha. She's in. Not sure how long I can hold her. The radio. Iridium. There's gotta be some iridium in here somewhere. I'm not taking your survey. Decline. I need iridium. All I have to do is destroy my s sweet, premium, VIP CEO, status affirming, Equidex. Ock, how's it going with that iridium? Hawk! We need that Iridium! Uh, kind of. Just give me a second to think. We don't have a second! <sighs> You're right. Yeah, there's some in my Echo decks. Great! Smash it! You don't have, like, a program to migrate this contact list or anything, do you? Octavio! Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I found some. Say hi to Louie for me. Goodbye, old friend. I'll meet you in that big conference call in the sky. Uh! This enough? Be enough for one shot. Better make it count. Degrees, so we don't send all of Prometheus on vacation. Oh. Yeah, that would be bad. <sighs> all systems are ready. Make her go. Bye bye. <sighs> Wait. No. No. Fran, you deserve the final blow. Eh, it's okay. Bury that bitch. Team effort. Go team! Have a nice trip. See you next trip. It's have a nice trip. See you next fall. And that's only when... Don't ruin this for me. This is a good gun. Isn't it a device? No. You. <laughs> Bring it in. You excellent vermin. That's not that's not. <laughs> 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 
Your precious gun is useless. Your company mission is useless. And now... get to ask you, who's the boss? It's a simple question. We know your feeble minds are capable of answering it. The almighty skateboard. The almighty what now? It's a device. What? You said my precious gun is useless. It's not a gun. It's a device. And it's not mine. It's something all three of us created, improved, lived for, died for. That journey taught me something I could never learn in any lab. What's that? Or are you just too afraid of the answer you'll find? We are. You... Would rather throw your life away than answer to your superior. See, that's your problem. You think I'm the only one making the decision. I hate violence! Some geniuses, some powerhouse CEOs, but a true company works with groupthink. <sighs> Everything we do, every victory, every mistake is a team effort. Better to die with family than to live alone. Ah, oh, you guys all get me right here. Thank you. For everything. It's one badass way to go down. I'm sorry I won't be able to pay a severance. What? What is that? It's called a skateboard! Dickhead! Ultimate co-workers turn best friends, sacrificial punch for planetary life strike! But I'm... Uh... Dude, we beat the boss! Fuck yes, we did! We are one. As are you. Thank you. Warning. Velocity reduction insufficient. Collision course maintained. I'm sorry. I am too. I'm not sorry for shit. Whatever that's worth. One less corporate ass hat, one happy super alien or whatever. That's a job well done in my book. Yeah. <laughs> and we save the world, maybe the entire galaxy in the process. Not bad. And no one will ever know it was us. That's pretty badass. Totally bad us. This is PNN. Promethea, one year later.
Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TDOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist Bivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, get a load of this, a healing spirit. He even claims the explosion shot remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington, I think someone's done one too many hits from The Belcher. The business of living. Coming up, we preview the latest romantic comedy starring eight Saurians. Critics call it baffling and not fun. Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. knew the so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> Happy Reborn Day! It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. I thank you with my body! Oh. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that.
<laughs> Barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. I'm gonna go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while. I feel like I'm looking at him naked. Dude spot so many bombs. So many bombs. Radon, my guy, what's that? Hmm. I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Octavio? Why are you calling me? We are in the same place. Uh, but I'm on business. This is a business call. Ugh. What do you want? You've reached Danielle's echo mail. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer! Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? Not in the last 30 seconds. Aw, Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratches. They look cozy. What the hell, man? Hey! Careful, man! They haven't eaten yet and you uh, have... Uh, an aroma. Musk. I have a musk. You respect me, Juniper, don't you? Yeah, you do. Ooh. Oh, who's the cutest little rat that ever was? Yes, it's my Juniper, mi amor. <clears throat> I'm back by popular demand. We're late. I have a really good excuse this time. So, first thing. This is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. Not today, Killbot! Octavio, your friend seems nice. Whoa! Let's just calm down, all right? He's a friend, Fran. You got your extra cups and spoons, your cleaning supplies, oh, the list of customers who are banned. Ah, the cuckoo coconut lever gets jammed, so you really gotta yank on it before you can... I know. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Well, I officially retire. You? are hereby the new owner of Franz Frogert. You mean Octavio's Yogurt. Octavio's Yogurt. Yeah. Hey, if I run into any trouble, will you uh, be around? Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm up a deep -a -poo. I am cashing in my chips and I'm going on a long vacation, like a not coming back vacation. Ah, Mundus Dongus. It's a nudist colony planet on Sector 8. Uh, where's my travel buddy? Free labor. Oh, he makes me laugh, but he also makes me moan. Come on, buddy. Don't be sad. Just do the psycho shuffle. Do the psycho shuffle. Look, I may be across the galaxy without an Echo Dex, but you know she's always watching out for you. Yeah. Always did. That was her thing. Well, we better hit the stars before all the good Dom suits and foam ramps are taken. Free labor. Hey, friend. Yeah. Thanks. For what? For everything. You mean thanks for everything? I didn't do everything. You did plenty on your own, Hawk. Yeah, well, thanks for the stuff you did do. I'll miss you.
Hey, there'll always be a subcollar waiting for you on Sector 8, you hear? Make sure you use protection. What? You don't know what's out there. <laughs> your sense of humor, kid. Loosen up and have fun. You are the CEO of your own business. CEO of my own company. Guess I made it, huh? Oh, <laughs> no. We are not co-CEOs. You can be VP. Okay, okay. Senior VP. Why do you have to be such a nerd about this? I don't even know what a stock option is. Can we circle back to this? I literally just got the keys. I'm not ready to make that sort of decision right now. NFTs though, dirty tacos. Been thinking about this for like minutes. Mr. Strongfolk. Dr. Dar. It's lovely to hear from you. I trust Atlas is fully operational again? Alive and ticking, all thanks to you. Are you hearing a ticking sound? Is that coming from you or me? Where is that coming from? Is it a bomb? Corporate sabotage! I knew this day would come! Could you give me a moment? <laughs> what did you do? You accusing me, your beloved brother, of nefarious behavior like w w using a fake ticking sound app against the boss that fired you? Really? I'm hurt. Just fix it. Fine. <sighs> there. Thank you for holding. Their plot was foiled. Uh-huh. Um, now, where were we? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Mr. Strongfork. On a scale of one to ten... Uh-huh. Um, now, where were we? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Mr. Strongfork. On a scale of one to ten, how pleased were you with the services our company provided to Atlas? Well, I gotta tell you, I was skeptical when you first pitched it to me. I mean, <laughs> sounds ridiculous, right? A consulting company whose mission is to heal corporations from the inside out? What does that even mean, you know? But I figured I owed you for... Saving all the lives in Promethea, killing Susan Coldwell, saving your company from the clutches of a hostile TD or takeover after you fired her? Yeah, for that. Anyway, you three. Uh, we four. Thanks to the aforementioned three who scrounged tirelessly amidst the rubble for my parts and... Yeah, sure. Excellent story. Loved it the first three times I heard it. Anyway, you four really changed Atlas for the better. Thanks to your skateboard scoring system, employee morale is through the roof. We're more productive than ever. And you can let people have bad ideas without firing them. Turns out happy employees are good for business. <laughs> Who knew? We did. That's why you hired us. Anyway, that's all well and fine. But we're gonna need a number, Strong Fork. Solid... 8 out of 10 from me. 8? That's an 80%. That's an 20% and perfect. I think an 8 out of 10 is generous, all things considered. I mean, let's review, shall we? Before you left Atlas, you sent my favorite possession and my favorite assistant on vacation. Yeah, but then we risked our lives to get into that vault for you. 
You did. Yeah, you did do that, but not for me. You all decided to keep the shard, the Anahadium, for yourselves. Didn't stop to consider, you know, as an example, how much time or how many resources I poured into getting that vault. Didn't think to call me so I could tell you about Anahadium, like that I knew it's called Anahadium, or <laughs> how about when you found out Susan Coldwell already had her own shard? Didn't you stop to wonder how she got it or where it came from? No, no, you didn't. So you're mad we didn't call you? Yeah, a bit. I had a lot of personal investment tied up in that shard, and now it's gone. All the Anahadium's gone. Just poof. Poof? Poof. Nothing but cosmic dust floating through the ether. <sighs> yes, well, I'm not sorry. You had your big adventure, and we had ours. Besides, now that the shard is gone, there's a little less violence, a little less death around us. Maybe this is all for the best. Whom is it the best exactly? All of us. I'm not, I'm not following. We stopped fighting over the shard. Now that it's gone, there's a little less violence, a little less death around us. I don't think it is gone. So, no poof? Uh, I mean, yes, there was a poof, but... You mean, as long as it lives on in our hearts? No, I mean, energy cannot be destroyed. It has to go somewhere, just like Timmy. In a way, maybe having the shard lost in space accomplished its mission. Which makes it perfect for us to chase. No one else is going after it. I'm... I'm hanging up now. Think about it. Hanging up. Did he submit his YAL rating? Yep. And did the check clear? Yes. You know what this means. Galactic Healing Inc. is open for business! G-H-I, Gee. Hmm. Gee. Gee? Destroying a doomsday weapon, freeing a cosmic demigod, and toppling a major corporation? Not bad for three nobodies. And a robot. After that, Promethea returned to business as usual. Corporate squabbles, casual murders, holidays with the family. So, any idea where the shard is heading? Not a clue. No one's made any sense of its trail. Hmm. It's funny. This Anu and Octavio. Two siblings who hadn't spoken in years, but ultimately risked their lives for each other. Two halves of a whole. That resonates with you? Oh, yeah. That's the key to this whole thing, isn't it? Uh, wait. What are you saying? I'm saying no one's looked at the bigger picture. It's headed into the Gladius Nebula. Great find, Fiona. And she's gone. And she took my wallet? Ugh, con artists. <laughs>